The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here in DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook app, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into one hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bet with any college basketball bet. North Carolina listeners, don't forget, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Shannon. New customers can bet five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, bingo, uh-huh. ring of fame, honoree, yes, a legend, Liberty City's own. Legend. The Bengals. Uh, he is a pro bowler. He's an all pro. Mm-hmm. And he's one of the great wide route runners of all time. Whoa, 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 Bengals. whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get it what right. What up, Ocho? No, no, no. The greatest. The greatest route runner of all time. Period. I still got Matter Jimmy. of fact, I got Jimmy. Matter, you know what we can add to that? When we do my intro, I need you to do my intro like they uh like Buffer. What's the name? Michael Buffer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need you to do it like that. And you know, I want you to say the greatest route runner and entertainer of all time. One of the great route runners in NFL history. Please make sure you subscribe to Nightcap Podcast feed. You can listen to the Nightcap through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast feed. Thank you guys again for selling out Shay by Laportier. We have pinned the link to the ch- uh, at the top of the chat. We're taking pre-orders only. We got a shipment in, and we should be able to fulfill all orders. But thank you, thank you, thank you again. Ocho, let's not waste any time. It's time for our first segment of the night, and it's called a news cap. News cap. News cap. John Mara told Saquon Barkley he was sick of his Giants exit. John Mara texted Saquon Bar- Barkley what it felt like to see him lead the Giants. Mara said today, pretty quickly after the signing period, I told him I was sick about losing him. He told me he told him he was a class act and it was a very nice exchange we had. W capital W T F Ocho. That's all I got to say for right now. I'm going to let you take it away. Capital W T F. Listen. I, as owners, I'm not sure. I, all that shucking and jiving, that's what I call it. That's that shucking and jiving. Now, if you really appreciated and valued Saquon Barkley, he would have gotten the contract. Listen, when you're dating someone and you value that individual, you pour into them. There's a certain type of upkeep that is required and comes with it when you care about something in general. Yeah. You show that. Yeah. You show that. So with John Mar- John Mara had the ability to take care of Saquon Barkley and show him how he really felt about him. He did show him. <laughs> That's why he had Philly. Thank my, <laughs> my point exactly. So I'm sure Sha- Saquon probably saw this, and I hope he understands, able to read through the lines, and that, that is all I call it smoke and mirrors. Because if you really cared about me, you really val- valued me as a player, there's no way in hell I would be in goddamn Philly, and we would have took care of me last year because mm-hmm. you know what I bring to the table as an offensive weapon. And the fact that your running back was probably your best offensive weapon and you didn't want to right. take care of him let you know how he really felt about you. And yeah, that's that's where a... it counts. Yeah. That's where it counts. At when a, when, the, when an organization really cares about a player, you know how they show you they care? Money. That checkbook. Years. That checkbook. Yep. Listen, you know when it comes when you're dating somebody, you know you know how women are. You know, one of their love languages is gifts. Gifts. <laughs> so how do you yeah. show them you care about you care about them yeah. you spend what your money mm-hmm. that's life that's just that's the way it goes in all but types you- of, of businesses when it's time for a pay raise if your boss if you're doing your goddamn job and your boss is appreciative of what you bring to the table and what you've done for that for that corporation or that entity you know how they show you money yeah for sure and that goddamn bull jab and send me that goddamn text message after I'm gone, s- selling me that goddamn dream. Nigga, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even respond. I, I wouldn't. Have, I, I would have blocked that number so fast. Stop playing. Because, Ocho, what we know is that when we deal with, with guys like a Saquon, yeah. and you deal with a guy that's getting $100 million, everything goes all the way to the top of the flagpole, yes, which sir. is the owner. Yes, sir. And then it comes back down to general manager, then to the coaches. Okay, we're going to do this deal. For Saquon Barkley to be on the other team, you're not sick. You're upset 
because yeah. your fans are giving you the business yeah. after you gave me. We're going to talk about this in, in a second, Ocho. Yes, what you did for Daniel Jones. Yeah. That's what you're not sick that Saquon left because if you wanted Saquon, as you said, Ocho, mm -hmm. the deal would have gotten done last right. year. Yeah. You're not sick. Nah. Not because even, and I made the analogy, even if you love your girl and you don't put a ring on it, you mm. make sure she knows how much you love mm. her. You take care of everything. Yeah. yeah. Baby, don't worry about it. What you need? Mm. You need yeah. your, hey, you need your apartment mm. taken care of? I got mm. that. Oh, your house? Mm -hmm. I got that. Yeah. Your car? I got mm -hmm. that. Here's maintenance mm -hmm. for your daily upkeep, mm -hmm. for your monthly upkeep. upkeep. I got all that. Yeah. I'm showing you, although mm. I haven't put a ring on mm -hmm. it, made the long term, I'm making a commitment to let you know. No. Okay. He F with me. Yeah. He F yeah. with me. No second thoughts. Ain't no second thoughts. At Ain't all. no second thoughts. So I mean, it's, it's, for it's, this, it's, all this, all this talking. Oh, I'm sick. No, you're not sick, man. Don't do that. Don't insult the. Don't. It, uh, hopefully, the fans are not falling for this. That this man is sick. That Saquon left when nah. you, you and you alone. Hold on. Now this is what I don't get, Ocho. Mm -hmm. Now I remember when the anthem thing, the anthem protest was going on. And Colin Kaepernick, he made it abundantly clear yes, sir. that he was in charge. There yeah. was no ill saying buts about it. Yeah. The buck stopped at his. He was reading the emails. Yeah. He was reading the letters. And mm -hmm. he was letting the faith reassuring the fans uh, that he was also disappointed. Mm -hmm. Now I come to find out it's uh, the general manager. Now all of a sudden it come to find out it's Brian Dayball. Mm -hmm. He got no control, although his dad, Wellington Mara, mm -hmm. founded the Giants. Yeah. Now, I understand it's a 50-50 partnership. The, mm -hmm. the, the Tishes also are 50% owner. But right. John Mara is the face right. of the Giants. Yeah, but he part, has no say that Saquon Barkley is in Philly. He's sick. Man, stop playing, man. Listen, it's the game that they How play. How you tell your girl, Ocho, you sick, baby? I'm so, baby, I am so hurt that we're right. no longer together. Yeah. You could have did something about it. Yeah, most definitely. My, my, the, the, the thing that you're supposed to do about it is when you're together, you're supposed to do right. You're supposed to do right. That's all. It's simple. It's simple. It's not that hard. We understand that the value of the running back position is not viewed the way it once was. How about you come out and just be honest with Saquon in your text message? Listen, the way things are viewed now at this position, it made it hard for me to give you the value and pay you what you're worth. Simple. Well, you can't be sick. <laughs> that's it that's all you had to say be honest you yeah. don't have to do all that shucking and driving and lying about oh i'm sick oh i'm i'm sad you gone man pussy you should have paid him oh shit, hey, my, oh, bad. You my really bad, bad my bad my bad i'm i'm i'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking i'm talking to my homeboys my bad i'm yeah, sorry you are talking to the homeboy we just live in, you know, know with 50, I'm, sorry, in I'm sorry i'm sorry i lost i lost myself my bad i lost myself my bad so that's how you feel about him huh no, 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 my bad. Chat, excuse me. I'm, I didn't I didn't really mean John Mary in general, just the fact that the situation in itself, like, come on with the bullshit. Now, don't, don't run no game on me. Now, if you're going to pay me, pay me. If you're not, you're going to let me walk. Don't send me no goddamn messages, you know, after we break up. Talk about, oh, you miss me. Man, stop playing with my top. Yeah, for real. Don't play with my top like that, man. That's insulting. Saquon, I hope Saquon blocked him. Saquon, I hope you see this. Block him. Even playing you with you like that, man. Oh, now nah, I'm sick. Now nah, I'm hurt. That's like your girl. That's like your girl leave you. That's like your girl leave you for somebody else. And boom, and she see, but well, damn, this ain't what I thought it was. I mean, I thought the grass was green on the other side. And mm -hmm. you try to, she tried to spin the block. Man, stop playing with me, man. No, Ocho, Get no. Get peanut head ass from over here. I'm going to do you one better. Come on, talk to me. Y'all not together no more. <laughs> She with her dude, right? And she hit you. Right. You know you still the love of my life. Get the <laughs> f out of here! I don't want to hear that bull, job. You with the love of your life? Yeah. If I was the love of your life, you'd have stayed your monkey ass over here with me. Show, but show, since show, I'm not the love of your life, show, you with the love of your life. Yeah. But you gonna try to play it all? Uh uh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Stay over there. Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't, don't you worry even it. worry about that. Don't worry about it. O'Shea gonna be all right over yeah. here. But. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, they, 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 but you they, they but just remember, hey, I'm gonna be like Michael Jackson. Do you remember the times? Yeah, <laughs> when we yeah. fell in love. Okay, yeah, I fell out. Like we you fell a lot of, out of love with O'Shea. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. hey, O'Shea, I'm I'm a little shook up right now. Right, <laughs> like right, Elvis right. said, I'm all right. shook up. I'm a little shook up right, right now, right. Ocho. Yeah, we but we gonna get over that though. We gonna get over. We gonna get over that. As my grandfather used to say, boy, sunshine follows rain. It yes. rained 40 days and 40 nights. Mm. It's never rained like that again.
Mm. And guess what? On the 34th, 34th, 34th day, the yeah. sun came out. And that, hey, once that sun come out, you already know what time it is. It ain't no looking back. And I got my shades on. Mm-hmm. That's all right. You're going to read about you. me. You're going to see me. You're going to be sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Night, night, and night I ain't going to try to get back at you because yeah. I can't get ahead trying to get back at you. Mm. I can't do that. I can't get ahead. Listen. Oh, so how I get ahead? Because that mm. means, see, it was you back there. Right. And I'm trying, I got to go back there to try to hey, look Nah, at we ain't doing that. <laughs> look we ain't at me. doing no, that. No, no, no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Because you can't see where you're going if you got to look through the rearview mirror. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Huh? John, man, I need to be ashamed. Sir. But he also said this. Even though they signed Daniel Jones to a $160 million deal last year, John, John Merrill said he's given gen- general manager Joe Schoen and Brian Dayball the green light to draft a quarterback if they desire. The Giants hold the sixth pick in an especially strong, especially strong quarterback draft. Mm. Merrill said if they fall in love with the quarterback, and I believe it's – and I. And believe that it's worth it with the pick number six or moving up. I certainly would support that. Now Ooh. all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you the owner again, and you give them your blessing, blessing. to move up in the draft mm-hmm. or stay pat and mm-hmm. get a quarterback. Yeah, but you had no say whether or not say mm-hmm. Saquon Barkley got an opportunity to stay. You mm-hmm. see that blue job, Ocho? See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They move the goalposts depending on who the topic is or what the position is. Obviously, we understand the importance of the quarterback position in the NFL because as your team, as your quarterback goes, your team goes. We understand that. Now, again, with this goddamn draft class, I, I understand where he's coming from. We got some special, we got some special, some special fellas out there. Some special fellas out there. I'm not sure there's anybody that's going to be there at six because I think the best one's going to be off the board by the time six come. But that's what, they that's, said that's what be- I'm thinking. But what did he say? He's if you love somebody, you can move up. Yeah. In other words, you can mortgage the future. Yeah. To get what we need today. Yeah. But listen. But he couldn't. The, but Saquon, it broke me. I'm all shook up. Man, it broke my heart. I'm sick. Mm. I don't man, like I that. hate this. I don't like when they play them games like that. Nah, man, don't How do that. Be, be honest. Be honest for a change. I would. Lo- I would love for an on, owner to be like that for a change. Send Saquon a text and be like, man, listen, man. I love you. I like what you've done for us, but we don't really value the running back position. Yes, the way we once we once once did. So I really, really couldn't pay you the kind of money you wanted. So we wanted you to play on the franchise tag until we found a team willing to trade for you, and we did just that. So simple. That's it. I wish you the best of luck in Philly and Case Closed. Not going about your business. Thank you. Tell me oh, the th- truth. Tell, even if it hurt me. Yes. Even if it hurt me, if you don't want to be with me so no more, let me know. Yes. And keep it a Let me know. Hey, keep it a stack. Yeah. Ocho, you know what make me, when women talk about, well, I just need to find myself. Self isn't something you find. Self is right. something you create. I didn't Come find Shannon Sharp. I created it. Come on now. What you see at this moment, I created this. I didn't find this. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, I just, you know, I just need to find me some happiness. Right. You create happiness. That's Where right. can you find it? Tell me the place happiness is. Mm. You can go any place you want to, but if you're not happy inside, you're just a miserable person in That's paradise. Right. And matter of fact, and don't put the goddamn onus of keeping you happy on me. I don't want that responsibility. I don't want that responsibility where I have to keep you happy. That shit start with you. Yes. Every morning you wake up, you look in that goddamn mirror, and you got to be happy. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Because if you put that, that that responsibility on me, she. How do you find happiness in another person? I, come on, now. He don't know what you're experiencing. He does. He or she doesn't know what you're going through oh, in a given read, moment. We're supposed to read minds sometimes. Sometimes you got to read the mind. Yeah, sometimes you got to read body language. You got to go through. You got to go through hoops and hurdles to understand what's going on. I mean, we all, we all, we all off topic, but we, this, that's know, a good one. No, that's but a good we, what we're trying to say is yeah. that you and I are both upset because in one breath, he had no control over Saquon leaving. In yeah. the same breath, he gave one quarterback 160 million, 40 million a year just last year. But if you want to take a quarterback with the sixth pick in the draft, which you we gonna, own, you, or you want up. to move up to mortgage later, the future, you have my blessing. So they had your blessing to do that, but they didn't have your blessing to sign Saquon? Yeah. So that's that's what you're telling me. Let him go. 
Man. We don't value the position. Okay, you don't value me. It's okay. I'm okay. You believe that you can find someone that can do the job that I was doing cheaper or better than I can do it. I can't regret Ocho. The Broncos let me go. Right. The Ravens released me. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Because the way I look at it, I'm not disappointed that I got released. Right. I'm disappointed that you actually think you can find somebody to do what the F I do better than what I can do it. Mm. Have they found somebody yet? Come on, stop playing. Have they found somebody yet? Think about can't it. Do what I do? Have they found somebody yet? Think about it. See, I'm more no. than just stats. Yes, sir. I'm more than just stats. You can't quantify my value with just stats, what I do on the field. You better think about how I keep the locker room tidy. Yeah. You better think about how I talk to the guys and make mm -hmm. sure they're ready to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More, Man, than just, just, more than just a number. More than just 84. Yes. It's more than just that. Man, listen, Man. They'll, they'll, ne they'll never see the value in us the way we see each other, though. They'll never see that side. They'll never see that side. It's always business at the end of the day. And that yes. will never change. No matter how many times they smile in your face. No matter, many, no matter how many times they shake your hand. No matter how many text messages they send you. <laughs> it's always business at the end of the day. All I'm saying is this, Ocho, is that if I'm an, if I'm an athlete in today's time, uh -huh. I'm thinking my side hustle. I'm not waiting to, because I think a lot of mistakes, and I've told athletes this, mm -hmm. I say a lot of mistakes that you make, you wait until you're the final year, and you mm -hmm. say, well, Shannon, I want to do TV. Okay, oh. so what TV have you done in the first 10 years of your career? Mm. The first 13 years. Right. When they ask you to come by the radio, the TV station, mm -hmm. and host a segment on sports, mm -hmm. go do it. Yeah. Hell, out the way. Call me. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Shannon, can you come by on Friday night? We'd like to have a you know an athlete. I'm there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Shannon, we'd like to have a – what do you think about doing a radio show? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Build a relationship. Yeah. Got a guy now. He runs iHeart. He was my producer. And, and in in Denver, when I had a radio show, right? So I had Every a, week, hey, just sitting, hey, hey. As a matter of fact, it was me and Scott Hastings. What's up, Scotty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's what I'm saying, Ocho. I yeah. was built, even though I didn't know I was going to be as far into the media as I am, right? But I was just preparing myself, mm -hmm. just in case someone says, "Okay, here's an opportunity," right? Yeah. Hey, that's it. Yeah. Ain't no such thing as luck. No. Luck is what happened when preparation meets opportunity. Oh, oh, yes, sir. If you're prepared, the opportunity presents itself. Some says it's luck. Mm -hmm. Ah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Check this out, Ocho. Here's another one. Jerry Jones goes from all in. Oh, wait, come on, man. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Check Stop. this out what Stop. he said, Ocho. Again? Ocho, you got No, check this out what he said. Jerry Jones goes from all in to needing to win with less. The Cowboys were all in in February, but in March, not so much. Much. Jerry Jones says, I've, I've been more all in before by any definition, and I have more all in to make the run back to the line of scrimmage than I have to run for 50 yards. It took more than all in to just to get back to the line of scrimmage than it did to run 50 yards. Sometimes that is a bigger challenge. That is really the gist of what we're about this year. We've got to get it done. I think we we've been in this been in a situation where we were really can get it done with lesser. More doesn't necessarily mean beat Green Bay. Man, y'all seen Jerry 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 actually thought he was writing a dissertation on that legal notepad, and y'all saw what was on it. You know Scribbling. what? Um, I just I just want to I want to apologize to the most important figure in the Cowboys franchise right now and Dak Prescott. <laughs> I just want to, hey, Dak, I know you're going to see this. Um, bro, I love you. I love you dearly. You know how I feel about you. You know I, when, I, when I see you. But the fact that that you have to deal with that, um, I, 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 I feel for you, you know, for someone that doesn't, doesn't actually love the game the way you think he should love the game and understand what I need to do to make sure my team that I run so I can get the credit for, he really doesn't get it yet. And and the fact that you have to, to deal with that and smile at that and, and, and really understand how he feels about you and knowing that he's still not going to change and still won't get from in front of the camera so you can do the job that you need to do without the added pressure from the top 
uh Dak, I I I love you, bro. And and it, <laughs> like that's that like at, at at some point we just talked about this last night. We just talked about bulletin board material that is adding unneeded pressure to a team that has not achieved the greatness that you once had in 94 and 95 and 96, whatever, whatever, whatever the years were. Mm -hmm. Stop talking about it. Stop, just, you, you don't have to, there's nothing else to say. Cowboys fans. I apologize to y'all as well. I apologize. I apologize because you shouldn't have to endure this shit. You shouldn't have to. No other, you... any other owners, any other owners talking, any other owners having, you know, I know it's just like, come on, man. This Jerry's supposed to be on his yacht somewhere. Jerry's supposed to be on his yacht somewhere, enjoying yourself, enjoying your off time, allowing the players, you know, to do what they do. Like, come, come on, Jerry. Does he realize just a month ago, after the loss to Green Bay, he came out and said, we're all in. We was trying to think, okay, all in, that means they're going to be big in free agency. They're going to make sure they sign their guys. Uh, uh, obviously, Micah is at the front of the list. Uh, C.D. Lamb needs to be a guy they need to take care of. Dak Prescott's contract, even though it went from $59 million to $55 million because he, uh, his roster bonus was turned into a, a signing bonus. Two, year, two, year, two voidable years were added to spread that out to give right. him some relief. But here we are right now. Um, you look at they, they signed Eric Kendricks. They lost Dorrance Armstrong. They lost Tyler Biotis. They lost Dante Fowler. They lost Tony Pollard. Uh, I think they re-signed Jordan Lewis to a one-year deal. Their long snapper to a one-year deal. But a lot of guys, a lot of depth guys right. are gone now. Mm -hmm. And so I think Jerry actually forgot that he said they're all in. Now, he came back and tried to walk. The Steven tried to walk that back. Right. says, hey, what we mean is that we're going to sign all our players. Now he's saying we need to win with less. How the hell are you going to win with less when you couldn't win with more? With more, yeah. Yeah. Now what they do, what, what they do have to do, what they do have to do is they have to take care of the three-headed monster. You have to take care of your nucleus, okay? For one, that's Dak Prescott. That's a no-brainer. CeeDee Lamb, that's a no-brainer. Micah Parsons, that's a no-brainer. But at some point with the cap, the way the cap is, the way the cap is going up, I don't know the numbers. I'm not sure where they are as it's far at as 255. Cap space. The cap is 255, 255 million this year. Okay. But what they can do is they can fill some other spots, get some depth, even though you lost players. There are many, many good players that can be an acquisition and help that team this year, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball, whether it be on the defensive side of the ball. I know they need a number two. I know that. I know yeah. they need another corner. I know that. They released they released uh Michael Gallup. Um obviously with the neck injury, it became prohibitive for uh Kyle Van uh Vanden Van Van Esch. Van Van Bosch. Van der Esch. Van der Esch. Yeah. To play. So he retired. He was re he released and he later retired. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, they need a number two. Uh it's gonna be very, very interesting that uh that you're talking about winning with less when you said you were all in needing more. So I don't know where Jerry is all over the board. Uh, he This is what he also said. He also said he doesn't regret playing Ezekiel Elliott, Elliott a massive run money for a running back. Rather, he believes his lesson from that part of what makes him the best option for the Cowboys GM. What I can do for our fans is learn from what we did with Zeke. I can learn. I can look back and make the comparison, and I'm more likely to learn from that than some new face. I really am. I believe that as long as I can do my homework and I got my energy. First of all, you're not doing any homework, Jerry. The scouts, they're preparing all the notes. You're doing limited. You're not, that's not you. You're not, you're a businessman. You're not a football guy. I'm not so sure Jerry, Jerry Jones knows the difference between a screenplay and a screen porch at this point. I understand. Stop I'm, I'm, this. I'm, I'm confused. So he can learn from the situation with Ezekiel Elliott, but he can't learn that maybe I need to take a back seat and maybe the results that we're looking for in bringing a Lombardi back 
to Dallas, maybe I'm in the way. Or we we don't see that. Nope. 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 He doesn't see that. He ain't trying to see. You remember now, Ocho, I told you the blindest man is the one that cannot see. It's the one that chooses not to see. Mm. Sometimes you you lose your ability of sight. You know, but if you choose, if it's mm. there and you choose not to see it, mm -hmm. when you have a choice mm. and you choose not to see, you're the blindest of the blind. You you know what could happen, but I know it wouldn't. I mean, it's impossible. It's an, it's impossible for that many people to band together. And if I think if the Cowboys want change outside of the players and the organization, the fans would have to do something. The fan, the, the fans in Dallas would have to do something if they really want change. You know what? Hell, first home game, don't motherfucking show up. <laughs> watch, watch that bitch from home. Everybody, watch it from home. Watch it from home. And watch what happened. And watch what I, I, get, I, get, I guarantee you there will be some changes starting at the top. Mm -hmm. well, well, Jerry, you know what? Obviously, I think at this point they are sick of you. You know how we know we, they're sick of you? Because it's only it's only 3,000 people in <laughs> Jerry's world. <laughs> it's, only, it. it's only 3,000 out there. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Because yeah. if the bottom line will always be what the bottom line is, as long as the money is still churning, mm -hmm. even though the results are not what you want and the fans are still showing up every Sunday when you got a home game, Ain't nothing going to change. And we he's made that abundantly clear. The Cowboys have some of the most devoted. Oh, yeah. Very great fan loyal, base. Loyal, great fan base. Fans out there. Great fan so base. So the, the likelihood of them not going to a game, mm -hmm. that probably not going to happen. And this is the problem. Did you hear what you just said? One yes. of the most loyal and devoted fan bases of all 32 teams. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're deserving of the shit that they get for being as loyal as they are and they're not yep. getting it. So how do you change that? Because I'm not a Cowboy fan. I'm a fan of the players that are on that team. How do you get that? Because you got somebody that refuses that think it's a goddamn reality show. That's how he's running. It ain't no damn reality show. Come on, Jerry. Go Think about relax. This. Kick your feet up, man. Get your martini, a, mimo a mimoso. Uh, get your uh, 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 drop lemon or whatever it is that you know. Lemon drop. You know, man, whatever. Whatever them rich folks Drop tackle drinking. is what you're talking about. There's a difference between a drop tackle and a lemon <laughs> drop, but we get it. Now, you know, I'm, I'm just throwing the name. The names is jogging my memory. I'm just. You, uh, want, on, you want you want you want a sugar rim on your lemon drop? A who? A sugar rim. You talk about Don't above about the it. rim. I saw that movie. That was a good movie yeah. with Tupac. <laughs> Yeah, man, I just, I, I don't know, man. The, the, I, I, I don't know. I don't have any answers. I don't have any answers because you he, he know we're not going to listen to us. So I'm just, I'm talking and going in one end out the other. Like, who the hell am I? Jerry ain't going to listen to me, but I'm just, I'm yeah. just saying the fans need to do something. They need to mm -hmm. do something because they're going to get the same results week in and week out and year in and year out because until they take a stand and say, you know what, we sick of this as fans. Right. We're tired. Stop telling us what's going to happen. Stop telling us what you're going to do and just do it. Don't show up and watch what happened. Uh, but, you know, he got a $225 million yacht. It's 357 feet long. Uh, Bravo Eugenia. Uh, that's his wife's name. He calls her Jeannie. Yeah. Um, named after his wife. Mm. Wait, he named, the, he named the yacht after his wife? Yes. Oh, that's some, hey, that's some Wolf of Wall Street type shit. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get me. I'm gonna go get me a yacht too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I will. Put, I will put. I will put. Uh, uh, who I will, who can I put on a bass boat? Because that's about <laughs> the biggest thing. <laughs> I I don't really be doing the boats, Ocho. Right. Like, you know the first hey. the first boat ride kind of got my people shook up. So oh, I heard yeah, about the first yeah. boat ride. They yeah, came yeah, over. Yeah, home. yeah, 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 nah, yeah. I'm good. I feel you right. Listen, I live in Miami. And I don't be on the water. I live in Miami and I'm never on the water. It's, it's weird. I don't take advantage. And I always see people like come to Miami. Oh, I want to get on the yard. I want to do this. Damn. Hell. Nah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Cause I, I just something about the water and like I went to school on the beach all my goddamn life. I went to mm -hmm. North Beach Elementary on South Beach. I went to Nautilus where my grandma taught on South Beach. I went to Miami Beach Senior High 
on South Beach. So I was sick of being by the beach by the time I was a little older to do some of the fun activities. I ain't been on the water in right. years. Right. It's uh Whoo, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Owner Woody Johnson of the New York Jets vows that if they can't trade Zach Wilson, they're going to keep him. Last month, uh, criticized Wilson's 2023 performance, walked back those comments, says, if we don't trade him, we're going to keep him. He called Wilson a valuable asset. The Jets are looking to upgrade the back backup position, signed Tyrod Taylor, 34 years of age, two years, $12 million. Mm -hmm. Robert Sala called Taylor an elite locker room presence. Yeah. I like that. I like Tyrod. I like Tyrod. I, lo I love. Like, Tyrod. They like Tyrod more than they like your boy Zach. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Un, un, understanding, you know, um, Tyrod's get... resume is is has been not as impressive as I'd like, but he's been very efficient when he's had the opportunities to play. I like Tyrod. Uh, I think he's gotten the short end of the stick, you know, in it, during his career. Obviously, the incident with. The punctured lung, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the charges. With the, yeah, with with the charges when yeah. that happened. But um, you know, as as far as Zach is concerned, again, the Jets, the organization, doing right by him, doing right by any quarterback that's been a part of that organization. Uh, every quarterback it seems to have fallen short in that area, and it's just in in this time, I still can't blame Zach Wilson. I, I just can't. He can't be Superman. He can't be Superman. You 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 have to to do right by that individual. And he just Hell, can he, he just, be Clark Kent? I mean, he, he could be Most that. Most of the time he'd be playing like Lois Lane. I mean, well shit. You'd be like Lois Lane too if every time you <laughs> drop back they was on your head, you know. But that, I I'm not I'm not here to talk about anybody. I love Zach. Uh I think he just went into a rough situation and it, it wasn't a situation in his favor, especially from an offensive perspective. And I, and I've been doing it all year. Unc. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a praise young bull man to, to the end of time. And I think that if it was a better situation, we would have got to see the Zach Wilson. <laughs> we were used to seeing or the act, the Zach Wilson I saw at BYU, that motherfucker was electric. The one that you only saw for one year. Yeah. He was awesome. Mm. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Zach Wilson was that boy, and he still is that boy. He just got a tough situation, you know, with the Jets, you know. So he, uh, it is what it is. Even an alley cat will find a whole chicken in the trash every once in a while. He ain't gonna always find scraps, Ocho. Yeah, I like that. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good one. But uh, listen, you you know, you 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 I know. Do know. Yeah, I do know. No, it, I don't. I, I, I told you again, nigga. G Jesus and the twelve disciples could have came down there. Jesus could have played goddamn quarterback for the Jets. Nah. No. It wouldn't have worked. Huh? Hey, listen, Woo. G. He turned water into wine. Yeah. Uh, playing, playing quarterback for the Jets. Mm -mm. It wouldn't have worked. Check this out, Ocho. The NFL approved. We understood. The, uh, we talked about this last night. The hip uh, drop tackle yeah, has drop. officially yeah. been banned. Yeah. Uh, unanimous approval. Yeah. But there's also course. a new rule. The NFL approves a rule change for a successful challenge attempt awarded to a team third attempt. So therefore, if you get the first two successful, you get you're one. granted the third attempt. I like that. That's dope. I like. That's I cool. love it. I don't I like, like it. I fair. love it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Especially you know your eye in the sky talking to you and let you know. Listen, we need to throw that red challenge flag in there. Sure of it. That can be very advantageous for teams offensively, well, and defensively based on the scenario, based on you know what, what's going on in the game. Right. So I like. Because it. Because here's the thing, Ocho. So you gonna punish me? You mm. f up twice. Yeah, I get them both right, and now mm. I'm out of challenges because you f up. F up. Yep. Nah, hell no. Nah. Give me another one because mm. I know y'all gonna do it again. You two for two, so you're trying to go perfect three for three. So yep. let me get a challenge to the f you up. Mm -hmm. But I like the I like the rule change. It should have yep. always been like that. I hope basketball goes to that. You get a one challenge if you get it right. You should get a second get, one. Get second one. Yeah. Check this out, Ocho. Brandon IU post a cryptic message amid ongoing contract extension talks. This morning, 49ers GM John Lynch dispelled any notion of San Francisco trading the star wide eye. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going on there. We've actively talking to Brandon, trying to figure some things out. Mm -hmm. IU posted like a cryptic uh, yeah, want, story want, on Instagram. Hey, you, want, you want me to break it down for you? Uh, he want, basically want, said money. Money talks and that bullshit walk. Y'all stop playing with my time. They owe, they owe, 
Why do they always do this? We got to fight tooth and nail for our money. Yeah. We always got to fight tooth and nail for our money. But when it comes to the quarterback position, he, oh, man, they knocking down your goddamn front door with the money. Yeah, but he looked like he might be good in two years, though, Joe, so let's go ahead and pay him now. Yeah. Listen, Brandon Ayuk, the resume, it's on film. The resume is on film. We saw yeah. what he can do. One of, one of the, the better of the route runners and ball catchers in the NFL today. What is there to talk about? Ain't shit to talk about. Mm-mm. At all. I'm not sure with Brother Lynch, you know, who I respect dearly. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Turn on the film. The work has been put in. If you don't want him, let him know. Let, let him go. Let him know. Man, listen, I don't think things aren't going to work out. We love what you did for us, but we're thinking about going in a different direction. Maybe drafting somebody young that might not give us the same production, but the money you're looking for, we really don't want it to go into that area. Yeah. Let's, let's well, you should have traded like him. That. You should have traded him because you already knew you got Kittle making top mm. two tight end money. Yeah. You got Debo making great money. Yeah. Now, what's the likelihood you're going to have two guys making top, three guys making mm. top money? At a skill position. What for? Wait, what for? Wait, wait, wait. With C Mac. No, I'm got... saying on offense. Oh, C Mac oh, oh, is the offense, highest offense. paid running back. Right. Kittle right. is the highest paid tight end. Adebo making t- probably top right. 10 money. And now you about to get high paid tackle. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and, and, and and you know what you call him going to be looking for the money the quarterback? Who that? Oh, yeah. The oh, quarterback. Purdy, Purdy got one yeah. more year, right? One more year? Yes. One more, and then, and then they, 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 they got to visit him. They, they ain't got no choice. They, ain't, they don't have no choice. Yeah, it's just not, they, I, I, hate, I, hate, I hate when they play games. And listen, another team that's – I love my ba- I love my Bengals. I love my Bengals. But let's stop playing with T. Higgins like that. You have to let's trade him. Playing, let's, let's, you're not going to pay – Ocho, you're not going to pay him, Ocho. Let's you're not going to pay him. You don't, have any, you don't have no money to pay him. Stop playing. Stop playing. He's very deserving. I love my Bengals. I love Mike Brown. I love everything they've done for me. Go ahead and trade him and get a third round pick for him and keep it moving. Allow because you him. can't pay him. You're you not going to pay T. Higgins. Mm. I mean, excuse me. You're not going to pay Jamar Chase what he's looking for. Somewhere between 30, 29 and $32 million. Mm-hmm. Joe Burrow making 50 plus million. Mm-hmm. You're not finna pay no other. You're not finna pay another skill position player right. $28 million. Mm-hmm. So you got basically a hundred million. Oh, so in other words, you're gonna have a hundred million dollars tied, tied up in three people. players. Three three players, yeah. You're not. That ain't happening. You're not. You're not. And so just go ahead and trade. He upset. Mm-hmm. He don't. He doesn't want to play on the franchise tag. He mm-hmm. wants a security. Mm-hmm. Like y- this is what I don't get by the owners. The players, see, y- y'all need to think like I be thinking. Fox they do no one year deal with them. ESPN they do no one year deal. NBC, yeah. CBS they don't do no one year deal. Oh, no. They got ten mofo years, mm-hmm. and yeah. I'm supposed to be happy with one year. You ain't take no TV deal. I guarantee. Show me the deal that the NFL is done with any partner. That's for one year. Yeah, the deals are at least five, five ten. Mm. Netflix they did a Netflix deal ten years. The CB with the broad, the uh, uh, the broad, the TV deal, mm-hmm. ten years. Yep. But hey, we give y'all one year, be happy. But you know what? You make it top five. No, 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 no. We'll give you the same amount of money, mm-hmm. but we want to do it year to year. And if you do, if if the ratings are not up, hey, we hey, well, you know the ratings were kind of down this year. And I know we paid y'all. You know, we y'all probably made about twelve, ten billion. So, but the, the ratings were down, so we need some of that. You know, we we're not gonna be able to do back. that. <laughs> They're not going for that. Nah, nah, never that. But listen, listen. I, I love T. I love T. I wish, I wish there was a way, hypothetically speaking, that we could make it work. And then you got people. You get, this is Twitter in general. Oh my goodness, there's a chance we might get Justin Jefferson and Chate. <laughs> So you're like, gonna have two receivers making 30 million, so 60 million in receivers and a 50 million dollar quarterback. Come on now, man. Like some I, sometimes <laughs> I want to engage and say something like, come on, I, that's, can we be realistic, please? We talk about two of the two of the premier receivers that are up for contracts that are commanding yes. top dollar, and both yes. of them waiting to see who go first. Yes. You already know what time it is. Yes. Well, hell, Everybody you, waiting. 
If you get 30, I'm getting 31. Well, if you get if, he, if you get <laughs> if CD, if CD, if CD over there, like okay, go ahead. Okay. They all the all all three are playing double dutch. Okay. Yeah. They wait for one of them to jump in. Yeah. And when the other one jump in, then hey, then I will I'm I'm overlapping. Yes. Yeah. I mean it's it's, it's it is what it is. But again, as far as T is concerned, as far as T is concerned, he deserves pop dollar. And they don't have the room to give it to him. They need to allow him to maybe draft day. It might, it might, it might happen draft day, you know. And the same thing goes with Brandon Ayuk. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to go back and forth with agents about if there, if there's no traction or any motion based on because you have so many other players right. on offense already right. tied up con contractually. Let Brandon go. It's, Let him go. Because there are teams that are going to pay him top dollar that can right. use him. They can use his services. Ocho, the, the hard thing is for for a, an organization to assess is a receiver somewhere else. He's been a number two, and you say, well, he's a number one. They're not sending coverage towards T. Higgins. Mm -hmm. Chase getting that. He is. Oh, okay. I, 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 li I like where you went. <laughs> you I'm, see, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm, hey, you I'm know glad. how it is. When I'm, they I'm, when they when they come out there, oh, we got the Bengals, mm -hmm. they ain't saying, well, you know what? We're gonna take our best corner and we're gonna put him on what you call him, and then we're gonna help the coverage over the top. They say find number one, locate mm -hmm. one, and then we're gonna play football after that. I, I I like that you did that, but again, there are very few teams in NFL, very few teams where you have two number ones on the field. And when I look at when I look at Chase and I look at T. Higgins, we got two different type of receivers that get the job done in two different ways. Right. But I don't see T as a number two. I don't see – I see Chase – I see both of them as two number ones that do the job differently. Different type of skill sets, different type of players all together. But I a do lot see of time, as two number ones. A lot of times, Ocho, what we've seen happen more times than not, we've seen twos go get number one money, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work out. We saw it with Alvin Harper. I, we I, saw it listen, with Peerless. Huh? But let's, let's talk about this. When Chase was injured, what did T. Higgins do? T but you talk about a five. T see, we talk about five. You talk about five games. I need to see this over a course of a season because mm -hmm. you wouldn't allow someone mm -hmm. to say, "Well, dude had five bad games." If I told you, say, "Dude had five bad games," you say, "Man, that's only five games." Man, there's a yeah. seventeen games in a season, but and listen, you gonna give me five? This is what you do. The small sample size that I did see where T Higgins was the number one. Oh, he showed up and he showed out. He was available. He yes. was on point. He was consistent. Hell, even when even when Joe Burrow was down and Browning was a quarterback, T. Higgins was still consistent. Was still when the opportunities came his way, he still made the plays. To me, someone that you can count on consistently, no matter what, and the offense can still go through him, and you don't miss a beat. To me, right. that is a number one. Now I, I, the, I, I saw I saw you got you got to put him on a team. Yeah, and there is no there is no chase, and right. there is no chase coming back. Mm -hmm. He's got to be the because we've seen it. We've seen guys. Be mm -hmm. number twos else right. be twos right. behind two Michael there. Irvin. Be two, and then and they other, go other elsewhere. Places, to be, okay, yeah, but TT's not that based when on when I send hey, when they when you get that boy dog every week, when you get mm -hmm. the Jalen Ramseys, mm -hmm. when you get the Pat Sertans, when yeah. you get the Sauce Gardeners, yeah. when you get the uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, 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 what's the dude, get uh, digs, yeah, when you when you get those guys, yeah, and you get them every single week. I like that. Oh, you just it ain't no, excited. you ain't get, you never getting a two or three. You getting one every I like week. I like that. You, you hey, you I got goosebumps. Exactly. I and got it, goosebumps. It, it, it ain't no rest for the weary. I got goosebumps. Because everybody you just named right now, right now, <laughs> I saw I, every last, Jair Alexander. Jair. Jair. Lattimore. Sauce Gardner. Lattimore. Pat you Sertan. Get this, you get this work. Pat Sertan. Boy, I turn your motherfucking number two jersey upside down, boy. Come yeah. play with me. Uh, Sneed. Give me somebody else. McDuffie. Mc, McDuffie? Jalen Ramsey. McDuffie Jay, from Kansas Jaylen City. Jalen Ramsey. You know what time it is, boy. Fins up, boy. I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm not, who, give me somebody else. Let me talk shit to these niggas. Diggs, if you, I hope you're coming back healthy. If you want some work this season, let me know. i get you right. Come who else? Who else? Give me somebody else. I just named 10 corners, eh? But 10, I mean, we well, got all, all, all 10 of you motherfuckers, nigga. See low, nigga. Get some. Sean Get Payton some. not stressing over the Broncos quarterback situation. Since he better, he better be. earlier this month, the Broncos haven't signed a replacement nor improved their draft position. 
to give them a better chance to select a, quarter, a franchise quarterback at the position. That inactivity might have created a level of concern for the fan base, but Sean Payton made it clear that the acquisition period is far from complete. I'd rather I'd rather the angst be now than in September, October, Payton said. You know why he ain't stressed? He got Shit. five years, a hundred million. Yeah, he got but, four but, more but, years at eighty million. So what's there to be stressed about? I'm like, gonna get my money, really lose a draw. Yeah, that 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 too. But it, of course, he bet he better be stressed. He better be stressed the way you just sent Russell Wilson down to Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. The way y'all cut the lease very short yeah. without allowing him a third year to evolve with the offense. You didn't like Russell Wilson, but now all of a sudden you don't have a quarterback, and you understand this is a quarterback league. You had Drew Brees in New Orleans. You understand how important the quarterback position is for your offense to go. But you're not stressed? Shit me. Boy, you stress? You stress. Who's the quarterback for the Denver Broncos right now? Uh, they got Jared Stidham and they got who do they they got somebody else? The Stidham? I thought they had somebody else on there. They got one other guy. But he's not good. Jerry Stidham not good either. That's, that's not if he's nice. good, he's still that's because nice. remember he's supposed to be the guy that replaced Ben DiNucci. Oh, Ben DiNucci. Hey, babe, goddamn Ben DiNucci. That's my boy. I, I remember Ben. Boy, good dude there. Good. Well, he's good and terrible. Good dude. But listen, oh, he's stressed because when them bulls start to ringing out at Mile mm-hmm. High Stadium, week one, week two, and any other week after that, because you don't have a quarterback. And the fans grow frustrated. What you think gonna happen? Hell, I'm going frustrated too. What you think gonna happen? And you got ownership that really doesn't have a football background. They have a background in business. Mm-hmm. I know they want to win. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know the way they think you can win as they do in business is you just throw money out there. And that's not mm-hmm. the way it works. No, it, it takes time. And before you take time, not only with time, you need a goddamn quarterback to build a team around, and then you go from there. They don't have that. You let one walk because you didn't have the goddamn patience. But that's neither here nor there. But he's worried. He's worried. Well, you need to go to a hospital if you want patience. <laughs> they feel with patience. Hey, <laughs> in pro sports, there ain't no patience, bro. I don't know the hell you talking about. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I don't know the that hell you talking one. about. Ocho, Shohei Otani addresses gambling scandal, and the NBA opens an investigation into Jonte Porter on Monday afternoon at the Dodger Stadium. Shohei Otani, co- and, accompanied by a new interpreter, read a statement in which he denied betting on baseball or any other sport, asking anyone to do so on his behalf. He also said his former interpreter placed bets without Otani's without uh, uh, Otani's knowledge, stole money mm-hmm. from his account, failed to communicate to Otani that members of the media were inquired about the wire transfer and falsely told a representative for Otani Otani had paid off his debt. Otani added that he's beyond shock and they're assisting in the ongoing investigation and that he would let his lawyers handle matters from here on out. He did not take any questions. Hold up, two-part question. And mm-hmm. now Raptors John Tay Porter is subject to an NBA gambling investigation out versus the net. At issue are prop bets Im- involving Porters from games from January 26th and March 20th. In a game January 26th against the Clippers, there was increased betting interest on the under for Porter's props. Mm. That evening, Porter played just four minutes before leaving the game because of what the Raptors said was an aggravation of an eye injury that he had suffered four days earlier. The next day, as part of the daily report, the user on the betting <laughs> betting results, DraftKings Sportsbook, stated that under Porter's three pointers, was well, the next day a week. The next day, as a, as a part of daily report to the users on the betting site, DraftKings Sportsbook stated that under Porter's three pointers was the biggest money winners for betters in any NBA player prop bets from the game that evening. Porter played 19 minutes two days later, scored 12 points with seven rebounds and three assists. On March 20th against the Sacramento Kings, God Porter damn. played just three minutes before exiting what Raptors said was an illness and did not return. He did not score, attempted and missed one shot, and had two rebounds. Sportsbooks had his over-under set at seven and a half points, 5.5 rebounds. The next day, DraftKings reported an immediate release. Porter prop bets were number one moneymaker 
for an NBA for that night in the NBA. Ocho, I know you don't really gamble like that, but I used to gamble a little bit. Okay, right, I right. used to gamble a lot. Right. If you go to the casino uh -huh. and you're playing cards, right, and they think you're counting the cards, mm -hmm. they throw your ass out. Remember how I told you, Ocho? They're not building those casinos with winner's money. They're building casinos with losers', losers money. Losers' money, right, right, right. They don't like to lose. Now, all of a sudden, the under on you is made the betters the most money of any game on prop bets the right. night. Mm. One night you leave early. The next night, uh, a, month, a couple of days later, you leave early again. And all the money on the prop bets happen to be on you. Huh. I wonder what I wonder what sport I wonder what DraftKings thinking like. Well, damn, either we must be the unluckiest, or these guys can't can't a can't scale a prop bet for us. Hey, hey NBA, check this out. On the prop bets, when we put these things on Jonte Porter, you right. know what's happening? He leaving the game early, and we losing our you know what. Mm. NBA said, let us let, let us get in on it. Let's see what's going on. Wait, so is he betting on himself in this situation? I'll, I, he might not be bet, but he might be telling other people. Remember what I told you, you can't bet on yourself in pro sports. Ah, so he's telling other people and he's taking a cut. He's taking a that, 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 that Wait, it I, looks suspicious. Right. I'm not saying he's doing that, right. but it looks suspicious right. to the gambling sites. Right. That you play in 19, that you play in X amount of minutes and you always take and everybody is on your bet. They going under, and they hitting this thing every time. But I'm confused. If he wouldn't get the same amount of minutes, he not yeah. remember he leaving the game early. How can he leave the game early? I thought the he had an has eye injury. Out. He played four minutes. He played nine minutes. What you mean? How is he? Get, is he really getting hurt? Is he really? I did. All I'm saying is, is that they're saying when we set the prop bet on right, him, right. a number of points and rebounds. Right. He's always. They're betting on him, and they're always going under. And every night, that's the biggest winner. His prop. Damn. So he throwing, he throwing, he he oh, he playing, he playing crazy, huh? He doesn't make. He must not be one of the big hundred, twenty, two hundred million dollar players. Then. Mm -mm. Okay. 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 God damn. Do you, buddy, do you actually buddy think tripping, you can get? Man, a, you tripping. think you can get away with this, Ocho? Do you know the same way those guys? Remember those guys with having those prop bets at Detroit. And Calvin Ridley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. know that they want to keep that relationship with the NFL? Yeah. They want to keep these relationships with these sports teams. Right. You actually think they about to let you come in there and win. First of all, yeah. like for Calvin Ridley, I still don't understand what Calvin Ridley was thinking. I'm making 11 million and I'm betting $50. I'm in $50. Yeah. Hey, Ocho, how about I do this, Ocho? I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you 20. I get, you got $10 million. I'm gonna let you risk it all to win a hundred. Shit, me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was supposed to be the other way around. He yeah. hustling backwards. Mm. Like my grandpa used to tell me, boy, you selling your money. <laughs> he had to be. Yeah. I don't I don't get this. But bruh, mm. you don't think that's suspicious. At mm. least it, Ocho, if he'd have stayed in the game, they probably wouldn't have thought anything. Mm. But it just so happened those nights on the under, the most money was made. By people betting the under. He had the yin yang twins get low, get low. Yeah, he 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 tripping. He tripping. <laughs> Obviously, I, I mean I hear what you're saying. I'm 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 picking up what you're putting down, but I don't quite understand it because I don't I don't gamble. I got some I got I'll tell you what I this how it is. Okay, the over under is Ocho Cinco to have six point five catches. Ocho say Ocho Cinco play the first three minutes of the ball game and he's out. Now they don't bet about Five hundred to a million dollars that Ocho Cinco gonna go under the six the, the six and a half catches. Okay, boom, one time. Okay, they got another bet. Ocho Cinco to have six seven and a half catches. Right. Ocho play Ocho Cinco play five minutes. He out of the game, and the most money on the unders that day on Sunday was Ocho Cinco under both times. Okay. Now, now, now we talking. Now you put it in football terminology. Now, now, now I get where you going. I get where you mm -hmm. going there. All right, I got you. I got you. I got. You. They used to see an Ocho. They used to see an Ocho playing forty five, saying 50, 60 snaps. Yeah, that's. Now me. all of a sudden, Ocho yeah. playing twelve snaps. Now nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. 
that ain't, that ain't me. What you don't you know all the homework these people do studying? Mm -hmm. Right. What that defense is, what you do, your run pass, what they good at, mm -hmm. red zone, all, all that stuff. They got people studying it. Right. That's also why they released the injury report. Mm -hmm. Because what if they didn't release the injury report and the trainer or some, the trainer's wife or the trainer's kid? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know Ocho ain't playing today. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hey, give me such and such and the under. Mm. And that's too that's too much. That's too much. God damn, that's too much, man. For those of you in the chat that gamble, that understand all this, the over, the under, uh, the spread, the point, the money line, and all that stuff. I yes. I, I know few man, I man, God bless y'all, man. I don't see how y'all do it, man. Yeah. Hey, uncle, I lose, I look, listen, I look, I lose twenty dollars. I lose twenty dollars. You ain't finna see me no more. That goddamn rail. Oh my god. Real gonna get our money back. Boy, that goddamn blackjack Nine table. Years, okay, he's made over fifty. At that what blackjack happened? table, man, I don't be, I don't be knowing what she talking about. She be doing like this, and then she do like that, or, or man, I'm, man. She said here, she do, she do like this. She say here though, when she listen. All I know uh, is she pass. trying to be, she trying to beat the dealer. I know yes. it's, it's twenty one, and she, yeah. she understands. Close to twenty one without going over. Man, listen, we was in Vegas for Super Bowl. And I sat there and watched that lady play goddamn blackjack for two hours. And mind you, no, you she you ain't spending my motherfucking money. She's spending <laughs> her own money. Um, two hours. I I had my cigar and my coffee, and I'm looking at the time and I'm tweeting. I'm like, she really like that. But you gotta I realize they're pumping that fresh be, oxygen wanna, in there, listen, Ocho. And then I don't want to be rude, huh? Because that's not my place. Because mm -hmm. I don't gamble, so I don't really understand those that like to do it. I don't want to like infiltrate that space and, and overstep my boundary. You know, if that's something you like to do. Well, you know what? It's cool. As long as it ain't got nothing to do with me and you ain't spending none of my money. Mm -hmm. Cause I want to be in control. If I, if I lose something, I want, I want to be the one to lose it. I don't want to put it in the hand of nobody else. And I'd be like, damn, now it's gone. But here's the thing though, Ocho, you say $20. What if 10,000 people betting $20 on the under? What if 50,000 people betting $20 on the under? Mm. Now you see how that $20 add up. Cause right. you're not the only one. So what if somebody say, "Hey, man, oh really? I'm gonna bet five thousand dollars on the under." Five thousand. Five thousand. What if and you? Would you hey, if let you, me ask you a question. Five thousand on the somebody, under, and you hit what you get back. It all depends on what it is. You might, you might get. You, I mean, considering who it is, you right. might get. 6500 7500 8500 oh, so you... oh okay 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 does that mean yeah but hold on what if 50 what if what if a thousand people hit are you because you're not the only one betting that so that mean the casino got to pay out all them people that got to pay out all of that Ooh. and remember they don't build casinos with winners money right they build right. casinos with losers money they like winning. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why. When the last time you saw a clock on the wall at a hotel, at a casino, they want you to lose track of time. Right. And you right. notice why it's hard for you to get drowsy? They keep pumping that fresh oxygen in there. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, man, I ain't getting tired at all. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, and before yeah. you know it, you talk about, hey, you talk about two hours. Rail didn't realize it was two hours. It felt like it was 20, 30 minutes to her. Listen, I had to say something. I had uh -huh. to, and you know, you know, you know who was sitting with her for one hour? Goddamn yeah. nigga, D Dougie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, man, what the man, what is y'all doing? Man, <laughs> Dougie <laughs> left. And I'm thinking, when Doug get up, okay, that would be her cue. Okay, let me get up. Hell, she stayed there another hour and 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. See? Like, I mean, what, what are we doing? Check and, this out, Ocho. Yeah, come it's, on. We're gonna move with time for our next segment. This is my favorite segment. Glad we added it. It's time for our daily Dum Dum Award. Who messed up now? Ocho, this happened a couple of weeks ago, but Ash must have been asleep. I know she's working extremely hard, so Ash, I'm going to forgive you on this one, but we're talking about it now. 
Tony Snell is an NBA veteran of nine seasons. Tony he Snell. needs one more season right. to become eligible for NBA's premium lifetime health care benefit that covers his family. Now, here's the kicker. He has two kids. Mm -hmm. Both are autistic. autistic. Tony Snell is also on the spectrum for being autistic. February the 2nd was the deadline for Snell to sign with a team. However, no team signed him to uh, sign the veteran, and it became ineligible for retirement health care benefits. Mm. The story got garnered a lot of media attention and sympathy from the NBA community. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of all of that, his wife did something on Instagram that drew heavy criticism. Mm. Check this out, Ocho. Now, he wants a team to sign him. This is what his wife posted. Right. She oh. wants lifetime health benefit. That's what she posted. Oh, boy, she on the PJ, boy? Adam Hermes? Yes. Oh, she, ooh, ooh, she in a cobbler, boy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's his money or her money? You see what she doing? What, what she do? How many times you seen her dunk? I don't think Mrs. It Snell, Mrs. Ocho. Snell really let her. Wait, I'm, 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 hey, I'm, I'm you're not confused. You. Okay, that's like you. That's like you said. Uh, hey, you know what? You setting up a GoFundMe account, and you and Rail flying private jets. You and Rail, Rail showing off her Birkins and oh, Chanel. God. People hey. not gonna have. People was having sympathy for him because right. they're like, man, somebody signed the man. But you would have now, mind you, he's made a hundred. How much he's made? Fifty million. I think he's made about fifty-four million in his playing career. Whoa, 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 whoa! But if you're living like that, it won't she, be long. I mean, if if she's if she's living like that, ain't no fifty-four left. If you're living like that, you huh? know the kind of you know the kind of money you got to be making to be living like that consistently. Yeah, I do know. I know what them bags cost consistently. It, and she got more. It ain't like she got one. She got like ten, twelve. Some uh. of them at least fifty grand. When uh, you start that, getting that print, that crop, uh, that shit go fast, uh. Yeah, that shit go fast. You know what percentage of NBA players go broke too now? You know what yeah. the percentage is up there now? We talk about 83, 84, 85, 87 goddamn percent now. That's why they had they they had this feeling and this notion. People tool in general. Well, the more money you give me, the better I'll be able to do with it, and the better I'll be able to maintain it. If you don't already have that structure and discipline before you get that motherfucking money. You definitely ain't gonna have it when they give you more. Exactly. And then when you have people that's on your side like that, that want to live and portray a certain lifestyle, and they ain't contributing to making the money. Hop on OnlyFans. Shh. You, hey, 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 that's the time that you go. Hey, baby, hey, Come we got to do. Man. We got to do. Get on OnlyFans. Get on OnlyFans, Ocho. And I listen. And, and, and to really make a profit and really turn a profit on OnlyFans, you got to be. You got to be goddamn. Hot, you got to be, you got to be a hot Cheeto a, now. You got to be it, a hot it, Cheeto. I know, Cho, the thing that I t I would tell Jalen Green, uh -huh. go ahead right now. Yeah. I know you probably don't have it. Is to go ahead and set twenty million aside. Yeah, twenty million dollars aside for mm -hmm. child support, health, uh, 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 uh private schools. Mm -hmm. Because let's just say for the sake of argument, they hit him over the head for twenty thousand a month. Oh, they coming. That's two hundred and forty thousand a year. Now you got eighteen years. That's mm. two point four million. That's two point four. Uh, two. So the two hundred and forty in ten years. That's two point four million. But mm. you got another eight years to go. Yeah. So that's about four million times three. Yeah. That's twelve million dollars. Yeah. Okay. Now we got to talk yeah. about. Now we got to talk about private school because they not. Mm. Hey, they got the flaws. They not sending their kids to public school. You mm. know that. I know that. Yeah. Now, I don't know what the, what the, the the private school situation is like in Houston, Texas, but mm. I know out here in California. They probably started at about 30,000 and they probably go to about 4550. Shit. Times 3 per year, 18 mm. years. Mm -hmm. And then whoa 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 whoa. Also, College. Rem also remember now. Outside of private school, outside of child support, those that you have kids from also want to maintain an image. Yeah. Well, if they can't they maintain no image with 20,000 a month. Right, because you know, and I both know it don't take nobody no twenty thousand month to raise no kid. But that's neither here nor there. You, hey, whatever the judge say, 
Yeah. Whatever the judge say, you got to. Whatever the judge say. You right. It is what it is. I ain't finna. I ain't finna go back and forth. Now, hold on. Mm -hmm. How much you think them lawyers gonna get? And guess what you got to do, Ocho? You mm -hmm. ain't got to pay for yours. You got to pay for hers too. Yeah. You got to pay for her. I ain't telling you what somebody told you, chat. I'm telling you I'm what telling Shannon you what Sharp know. knows. <laughs> you pay for your lawyer and her uh -huh. lawyer. Yeah. And they ain't got no problem working. They That's work right. overtime because you paying for all that. Yeah. I, I, and, and Boy. I, every day I, 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 I say it. Have a baby time. by me and become a millionaire. Have yeah. a baby by me. Oh, but I can't say it. But you know, you know the fidget song. Yeah. Have a baby by me and become a millionaire. Yeah. It's crazy, boy. The so, game is the game. And the game the thing is, Jalen, he about to get a big contract. Oh, that God. contract, you go ahead and put twenty million aside, cause that's what it's gonna it's gonna cost. That's it. I I just did a conservative number. Mm -hmm. I said twenty thousand mm -hmm. a month times three. They might hit him twenty five. They might hit him for thirty. Yeah. You are gonna see them true colors come out. That's what you are gonna see. They might hit him for fifty. You're going to see them so now you exponentially. So you know what 50, 50,000 a month, that's mm. 600,000 a year mm. times 10, that's 600, that's $6 million, but mm. you got another. So that's another 4.8 million. So you're looking at 10.8 million times three. Mm. And you got to pay for his attorney, your attorney and hers. Now you remember that. And they're going to private schools. Well, you're making my stomach hurt, boy. Just think about that. Oh Lord, that make my stomach hurt. Make my stomach turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we been there. <laughs> hey, I ain't trying. Look here. He was, I can't I, beat. I, I can't beat the guy up because you couldn't tell me nothing, no Joe. <laughs> you couldn't. But couldn't tell us nothing. Man, me and you, Ocho, the only thing we pulling out of a parking spot. That's the only thing we pulled up out of. It's and I parked it. I backed it. Hey, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, listen, mine, mine were playing. I, I told you, I told you I did mine. All mine were playing. Those I have kids from. from yeah, you planned it. That, that, you that went in there wrong. But that I knew. <laughs> no, hold on. Listen to me now. That I knew before I even made it. So there was no, there was no ill intent. Now, what I did do was, is I purposely, not purposely, give me child support. So I can have structure, so you don't have to be calling and and be bothering about nothing. Yeah. But it wasn't trying to hit me across no head. It was just a, enough to be able to take care. You of knew him. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Were you playing football when you knew him? Nah, no. Those, you weren't playing no football, so no, you didn't play people, high school football no, when no, you knew no. him. No, these are these are back back like uh. Did you play? Were you playing high school football when you met them? Yes or no? Nah. So you just you weren't playing no sport when you met these girls, these young ladies. Nah, these, you nah, these when I was nah, these when I was uh when I was a baby. Like I, where I'm from, out the hood. What you talking about? No, from out here in Miami, yes. I know, but you were I playing, playing football, no. Ocho. Ocho, stop it, Ocho. But how you gonna tell me about my people and what I was doing? So you so you so those every woman that you had a child with, you know since how old? You was like nine, ten? Nah, about five, four. Okay. We grew but up anyway, together. We grew up together. That's what I'm telling and you. That's you started why I had play, these and you started playing football. You did not have no kid before you started playing football. Is my point. You confused no. me. No, where you trying to go with it? I don't understand. I'm going. I'm going with it. I'm saying you keep saying they got to know who you have, but they saw just like you. How many? Like you told me, not very many people come out of Liberty City and play sports. You playing sports, you were real good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But I didn't have any of the issues that you're talking about. So you I'm still, not you saying, missing, Ocho. I'm what I'm saying, Ocho, I'm saying, uh -huh. people keep saying, sometimes you have to forecast. A lot yeah. of times, Ocho, when you go into an investment, you can't go get Google stock like you could at the bottom floor because you got to take a chance. All I got to do is, hey, you playing high school football. I'm taking a chance. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Ocho do make it. That's Google if you get it on the but no, That's no, no, the seed no, no. money. But that wasn't about whether I was making it or not. That was done purposely because of the DNA and they was athletic. So I, I'm doing the chances, that, not them. Hold on, hold on. I'm, talking, I'm trying to think, but I thought you say you saved money. 
I do. That's a very that's that's very that's very and, reckless. I did. How do you think I still have it? Because I dealt with people that wasn't on that bullshit. How much how much more could you have had if you hadn't have done that? No, nah, I ain't want to do it that way because I wanted a lot of kids. <laughs> okay. Shit. Okay. I want a lot of kids, and I ain't okay. finished. Real, because I think she ovulating too. Hold on. Uh, Ashley is the latest season of Basketball Wives Orlando and has a clothing. Who has a who has a clothing? Oh, oh, she's on the last season of Basketball Wives Orlando and she has a clothing company, so she might be good. Who that? Tony Snell's wife. Oh, oh, she be oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, she's straight. Uh, I don't know. Look, I don't look at her. I ain't trying to get nobody's pockets. I don't know what they're making. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not familiar with the the Housewives of Orlando. I'm kind of familiar with the ones of Atlanta. They the make Potomac, a lot. They, they make Beverly a lot of money, Hills. huh? It all depends. I they mean, make, I, they probably can make twenty five, what fifty thousand an episode. Oh, I thought I thought 30? you I thought you were gonna say millions. Huh? They don't. I. <laughs> I don't be, I don't be knowing. Uh, Ocho, if you do 23 episodes and you get 50,000, 50,000 an episode, that's a million. I mean, dang. well, I mean, if you, if you look at one picture that you just showed and that look at that clip, that million gone right there. But I'm just, Ocho, I'm saying that's, if you look at, say, uh, what I want to say, lost my train of thought. No, I'm saying like a million, like, you like what what they get on? I don't know. I mean, obviously, let's just say for the sake of arguments, you're a Candy Burris or a Nene or mm. a Portia, or if you some of those housewives of Beverly Hills, mm. those shows are more popular than Orlando. Okay, the name faces. I don't know what they get. I don't want, and I don't even want to speculate. But I think they make a good living. Or why else would they be on there? Mm. I like it. So, so I think we, we need to, We need to have a goddamn. We need to have what? a show too. No, I'm good. Find, hey, listen, find an Uncle Love. No, I'm good. Yeah, I like that. No, Uncle find his own love when Uncle want to find some love. I'm good. Come on, man. He, uh, he our wanna... second one is none other than Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Oh, me? Why does there? Yeah, yeah, yeah we got to put you on here too. What so I check did? Check this out today. Uh, we gonna show it to the chat. Go ahead. I don't see do we it. Got it. Oh, do we put it up? We're working on it. Wait, what? I, what I did? I said here this was. There was a moment of zen. Two orcas were swimming peacefully beneath oh, a yeah. paddle border. Why does this never happen to me? He wastes this damn moment recording instead of getting in the water with them. Great moment. Great moment. I don't know what. What, what are we doing? What, what? What are we doing? I don't know. It, the people in the chat they they might know my love for killer whales and orcas. They might not. If you follow me long enough, listen, I bombarded your Twitters for years and years and years with Orca content, with Orca pictures, Orca facts. And obviously, I've never had Do you know what they call Orcas? Yeah, killer whales. No. What do they actually call them? Sea wolves, pants. Wolves, wolves of the, of the sea. Wolves of the sea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolves of the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't, they, don't, they don't attack us in the wild. They never have and never, they, they never have and never will. There Ever. most places that if you swim, there's only a, a, a few places. I think the only places like in Norway. Norway, New Zealand. Yes. There's another in Mexico. I forgot what part of Mexico. They take you out. You can snorkel with them there as well. Never, never. They don't pay us no mind in the wild. No mind at all. The smartest species in the sea. Nothing but a larger dolphin. That's all it is. Yes, a mammal. It's, it's, it, that is it's, it's a mammal. It's the biggest dolphin species. It's not really a whale. It's the biggest dolphin species. But I'm see. But see, here's the thing. You the color of a sea lion. I might grab your ass. That's that's <laughs> why. That's, <laughs> listen, brilliant mind in the sea. They don't. They don't attack us like that. Opportunity with that paddle border. That opportunity with that paddle border. I saw people on Twitter saying, "Oh, they gonna kill you. They gonna eat you, man." No, they are not. No, they're not. If chat. Chat right now. Just Google or YouTube when the, when the show is over. All the people in New Zealand and Norway that just swimming along the beach and killer whales just come up right beside them and swim and swim right with them all no, the time, good. all the time. It's the fact that I live in Florida and I'm stuck here with stupid dolphin. Okay, not stupid. Dolphin, highly intelligent. 
barracudas. Yeah. Jellyfish. What else we got in our water? Goliath manatees. groupers. That's it. You That's got manatees. It. Yeah, manatees. Oh, they so damn boring. <laughs> manatees. People well, go on out there and swim. Hold on. Ocho, go on out there to uh, New Zealand and Norway and go on I'm and get the go. water I'm going to go. I have some time. The, I, everybody send me clips all the time. People in Norway and New Zealand, they go to the beach. Just, oh, killer whale swimming by. They just jump in the water and start swimming with them. I'm like, like, come on, man. Nah, well, well I read the one that, like, it's got to be, you got to be, there's there's a, uh, like, like a scuba, like a, a, a group that you have to go out. That that is that is is sanctioned. You yeah, just can't go jump I'm, in the I'm water. I'm talking about the yeah. part where it's not sanctioned, where people are just at the beach on their own time. Like people, you know, you people say, you yeah. know, what, Mama, I'm going well, that, to the beach today, and you go, and they just swim right up with them, like it's nothing. It's a bunch of clips. Um, you got to you got to have ads send you some of the clips, uh, man. It's it's amazing. I just uh, I just want that experience. Somebody, hey, somebody in the chat said, Ocho, he good in Texas because Texas limit the amount of child support you can pay. So what's the max you can get? <laughs> Oh, they, somebody, they, somebody, you know what happened when they find states that limited somebody right. that's powerful right. got stuck right. and they had them lawmakers to change that for real yeah, I, I, yeah yeah we anytime you find a state that limits the amount of you better believe it right somebody right. somebody prominent got jammed up and right. he got to have some long paper right to get them lawmakers to say hey we, hey y'all need to do something about this because yeah. I ain't finna give a hundred thousand two hundred thousand a month Man, Jalen, hey, I'm going to Texas. I'm moving to Houston. The max they can get on show is yeah. eighteen hundred a month. Come on, that's some bull job, there now. Per child, that's some bull job. That's what they say. That's some. That's what they say. That's impossible. Because I thought it was based on your income and how much you make. Some states is based on your income. Some states, like like I think of like Arkansas or Mississippi, is limited. Right. Now come to California and mess around if you want to. <laughs> hey boy, hey, they base it on your income. A hundred thousand yeah. ain't nothing to them. Two hundred thousand, a quarter of a meal a month ain't nothing. A what? A quarter of a meal. Unk, there's no such thing. Unk, <laughs> there's no such thing of someone having to pay two two hundred fifty thousand. A million. I read a, a million. He was playing. How much was he paying? He was paying a hundred. I think he was paying like a hundred and fifty k. And she said that wasn't enough. Oh, he oh hell no. <laughs> hell no. Boy, you you dead? You serious? Dead. Yes. Who makes that kind of? Oh, this must have been a CEO or owner of something. He would and heard that you heard the kicker. It wasn't his kid. Wait. So how's he paying? She's a. Hey, here's the thing, Ocho. You have to be careful because in some states, the judge, like Amer there have been cases where married people, right? They're married. Yes, sir. have a kid. The father find out that it's not his. Oh no! Judge will still make you pay, even after you find out because he say the kids are presumed that you are their father and you must maintain that status, even though the baby not his. Put you in jail if you stop. Well, what's what's what state is this? <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, this is a real I think story. It was, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a, a state in Texas. The guy found out he had three kids and none of the kids were his. Oh, oh, come and he tried to and he tried he tried to stop paying and the judge he had to continue to pay. Yeah, through all three of them, one his. Mm -mm. Oh hell no! Nah. Think about it. Kanye pays two hundred a month for his four kids. He does. Kevin Costner's wife wants one hundred and sixty a month. Kanye got four kids with Kim, right? And he pays two hundred. He pays two hundred thousand a month in child support, and she a billionaire. Boy, hey, boy, <laughs> man, yeah. I'm glad. Hey, I thought my pocket would hurt when I when I got off that buddy. When that buddy was leaving my account, boy. I'm trying to think of who that exec was because he was paying 1.2 million in child support. And I think she said a, it wasn't a year? enough. A year? Yeah, 1.2 million, 1.2 million a year. And it wasn't and, enough. And, 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 and it, I think the kid was like one or two years old 
and she said the kid needed a, a baby grand piano. And, and, she, and she wanted like she wanted like another like three hundred thousand like supplemental bull giant. What? Yeah. And like a five million dollar co uh, condo. I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, we gonna we gonna discuss it on on Thursday. Boy. What, every, Ocho? Every day I thank God. For, I every day I thank God for those I had kids from. Hey, every day. they grown every, now. Every, my every mine every grown. Day. Did you Don't, just hey, hear, did you just hear what you just said? Ocho, guess what? It, it ain't no what you, I don't pay child support, but they still cut they, they still be taxing daddy. Hey daddy. But they work as long as two hundred thousand a though. month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, think about that. Chat, think about that logically, you know, based on the economy that we're in in the times that we're in. I understand, you know. Hey. It's, it's, he's on a different level. It's it's Kanye, two hundred thousand a month. Hey, you ain't got to tell Ocho. I'm telling you, them sundresses. I I, I remember exactly sundresses. Got them wedges on. Yeah. <laughs> like, like my granny said, them old key, them them thong draws. <laughs> oh, oh no, uh, uh, the one that uh she was gonna get. She, yeah, the, the, isn't that the one that own uh, LBMH, right? Louis? Hey, well, that's crazy, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, Ocho. I wasn't the same man. I, I, hey. I, but I already knew it, Ocho. You already know sometimes, Ocho. You 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 know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I knew. I just knew it. Mm. That's crazy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Never forget it. Yeah. Never forget it. Know exactly the moment. Yeah. 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 What, what, you wonder you could do about it, huh? It was too late, Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> it was too late, Ocho. But you, hey, you know, Ocho, you know when you, you just right. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a perfect storm. Yes, sir. Sundress, ovulation, 24. Mm. Damn. Hurricane, earthquake, natural disaster. <laughs> 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 Listen, you, the, the fact that you can, you, can, you can laugh about those moments yeah. back in time. It what it is now. That's hey. a good thing. That's a good thing. Ocho, we got your favorite segment. Y'all know what it is. It's time for Spell O Cinco. Chat. Tonight is for y'all, chat. Chat, tonight is for y'all. This is for y'all, One thing Ocho. I will not do. One thing I will not do, chat. I will not fail you. I will not fail you because I'm here for you. Okay. Ocho, this one, the this, listen. You need to get this one right, Ocho. This is the easiest one. This is the easiest one. The first word is sergeant. It S E R G E S E R G E and sergeant S E R G E A N T. S E R. Ding 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 ding. Ocho got it right. Ocho got it right. Good job, Ocho. Good job, Ocho. I like that. Ocho said he's not gonna disappoint us, baby. Baby, I'm spelling. <laughs> okay, check this out, Ocho. Check this out. Next word. Chandelier. Oh, Crystal shit. chandelier. Not. That's you. I'm spelling. I'm spelling. I got the first one right, honey. Uh, sergeant. S e r g a a n t. No, G e a n t. G e a n t. Yeah, that's what I just said. How you you trying to trip me up? I'm talking fast. Hold on. My next word is chandelier. You ready? Chandelier. You ready? Yes. Yeah. C h. Mm -hmm. A n d e. 
L E I R. I mean L I E R. Chandelier. Correct. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> The next word. Chat, I got you, chat. I told you, boy, I was the spelling bee champ in 1970, 1987. Liberty City spelling champ. The next word is schizophrenic. What? A paranoid schizophrenic. Come on, Uncle. How you going to go from chandelier to schizophrenic? Okay, how about I'm going to ease you into schizophrenic. God Here's damn. It Here it is. One of the largest flying birds in the Paleolithic time was a pterodactyl. Holy shit. Pterodactyl. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. We're gonna ease we go ease in we go ease into uh, schizophrenia. Okay, hold on. Terror ter oh, I'm gonna get this right. I don't, I'm I'm a let me take my glasses off. Let me take my glasses off. Chad, I know I look good too. Just I just cut my hair. Pterodactyl. Yeah. Can you use the word in a sentence, please? The largest flying bird during the Paleolithic time was a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. I used to date a terror back in 68. So okay. I'm going to go. Her name started with T E T E R A. Okay. Terra, right? Yep. Dactyl. Dac. Dac. D A C T Y L E. P. How, how far was I off? How far was I off? Well, there's a P in front of the T. So you a said P? T. Pterodactyl, yes. Why is there a P in front of the guy? Yes. So the correct pronounce the correct spelling of pterodactyl is P T E R O D A C T Y L. So they put the motherfucking T there for decoration like a goddamn Christmas ornament and it has no goddamn meaning in the goddamn word. So pterodactyl. The P is silent. Pterodactyl. Shit me. With the P is silent, there was no need for me to say it. Okay. Here's a, here's a good one. Ocho. Chat, in the bank. I, I got you right here, chat. I promise you because I love y'all and I'm yeah, just trying we to show you. We go, we gonna ease you. We gonna ease you into schizophrenia. Wait, that, that, that's what I told her too. Come on. It, the, the next word is xylophone. 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 Now, I played the saxophone and I played the piano. Mm -hmm. Xylophone is not spelled exactly how it sounds, which is the problem. Neither was pterodactyl. Xylophone. Fuck. But xylophone. Mm -hmm. Z. Okay. Y. Yep. L. Mm -hmm. Xyla. Xyla. Gotta be an A. It can't be anything else but an A. <clears throat> xylophone. X Y. Oh -O -P my God. H O N E. <laughs> this is, is that? I have a question. Yes. That is not the English language. That is uh, not the English. How can xylophone <laughs> start with an X? And I, I said it before I even tried to spell it. And it's, it's been so long since I've been it's in spelling music be class. champ. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since you've been spelling be champ. God damn. Like never. Hey, I hope the people in the chat not laughing because don't act like y'all know these mother these goddamn words now. Don't do that. I don't listen. <laughs> nah, they don't I, know. I, Okay, I'm just making sure because they people would be laughing at me like they like they got damn Einstein. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I'm I'm two I'm two for two, right? Yes. Okay. I'm the two last for two. word is schizophrenic. Schizo, schizo, skit, skit, skit. Now I'm sounding it out. Okay. Schizo, schizo. Skit so zo skit so skit so skit so skit so ch mm -hmm. gotta be ch I'm, I'm hoping ch i no ch skit so like the movie you saw the movie split yep it's the only reason i'm gonna know the beginning of it now i'm gonna I'm yep. I'm 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 fuck it up i'm gonna be honest with you 
Okay. The movie, the movie Split with James McAvoy. Yes. S H S C H I because in the movie schizophrenia, multiple personalities, schizophrenic Z Z P R C. No. What? Schizophrenic. S C H I Z O P H R E N I C. That's what I just said. What word what what letter did I leave out? A bunch of them. (laughs) (laughs) So you was two for three tonight, Ocho. We'll try tomorrow. Oh. I was this close. Like like the taint. I was like right here. I was there. Nah. You was almost a contender. Hey, but you know what? Sch- what? Schizophrenic, I couldn't I couldn't have been that 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 far off when I think yeah. about it. S E S S S E H I Z O P H R N I C. N E C. Don't worry about it. We're moving on. Damn. But good job, good job, good job, Ocho. Good job, yeah, Ocho. That, yeah, you did. That, 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 two that for three. That two for bad. three ain't bad. Two for three ain't bad. Yeah, especially okay. them, hey, the type of words you giving me, goddamn two to three, you got damn right, it ain't bad. Hey, actually, did you, those are your guys making up the words. So oh, the, now oh, it's time okay. for you to get some revenge. It's time for dunk on unk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Baby. <laughs> Baby. I know she hear me. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Baby, where you at? You want to dunk on Unc real quick? Huh? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come here, come here. Come <laughs> ask the first question. Come here, come here, come here. I know you know how to read. Why? What's wrong? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Ain't nobody going to see that. All right, we'll forget you then. <laughs> <clears throat> Chat, here we go. We're going to make sure Unc go 0 for 5 today. Question number one. Yesterday was Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning's 48th birthday. Yes. This is the true or false question. Peyton Manning has been named a first-team All-Pro more than any other quarterback in NFL history. Is it true or false? True. You are correct with the first one. Peyton Manning has been named first-team All-Pro seven times, followed by Aaron Rodgers five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We think we started you off easy. I mean, it's fun. I mean, because we think about it, Brady, Brady's only been an all pro three times. Yeah. Yeah. That's cra- that's crazy, huh? It is. <laughs> it absolutely crazy. is. Okay, question number two, chat. Chat, y'all stay with me. There are only two teams in the NFL to make the Super Bowl once and have a record of one and O. Oh. Who are the two teams? There are only two teams in the NFL to make the Super Bowl once. And have a record of one and oh. Who wow. are the two teams? Ooh, woo. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a this is a this is a good one. So they've only made it once and they're one and, and, and oh. And then yep, and when they when they did happen to make it the one time, okay. they won. The Ra- the Ravens went twice, they're two and oh, so not them. It said one and oh. Cleveland's never been. <laughs> Pittsburgh has been multiple times. Never made it. Cleveland's never made it. Green Bay, no, Green Bay. No. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Are the Jets? I want to know in the Super Bowl. Um, Joe, Joe Namath, Broadway mm-hmm. Joe. Okay. The Jets. I want to know in the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. okay. No, NFC West or the no. The New Orleans Saints. Damn it! Boom! You, it. you messing you with Shane? <laughs> you messing with Shane? You got it! You got it! You got it! You got oh it. yeah! You got oh it. yeah! I've been okay. waiting on your fucking ass all day. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Third one. You you gonna you ain't gonna get this one though. Boss calling. You... <laughs> is that is that bear? That that's baby. Baby. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You call it. I'm hit. Been hit the green. I got an answer. <laughs> Come on. All right, number three. Only one running back in NFL history has led the league in rushing for five straight seasons. Only one running back in NFL history has led the league in rushing for five straight seasons. Who is the running back? I'm going to go with Jim Brown. Damn, man. Shit. Well, he led the league in rushing eight of his nine years in the league. <laughs> Fuck, man. All right, all right. Come on, man. All right, all right come on. Here we go. <clears throat> You're going to have to guess the following player. Okay. Damn, you know basketball, too. Fuck. A little bit. I played in the NCAA tournament back in 2000. I had a 17-year NFL career. I am in, I am in the... Julius Peppers. Damn, man. <laughs> Can I finish the question? Okay. Bye, man. Bye, finish. man. It's too late. You done answered already now. Oh, my bad. My bad, don't you? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last one. Last one, chat. Chat, y'all stay with me now. We're going we gonna, to we gonna stump him on this one. Unk has only played with two quarterbacks that have led the league in passing yards. John Elway in 1983 is one of them. Who was the other? Randall Cunningham. Ah, wrong. And the answer is Steve Berline threw for the league. league oh, yeah. 4436 1999 season with the Carolina the Panthers. Carolina Panthers. Ah. Okay. Four for five. Four who five. led the league in 98? Who led the league in passing in 98? Might have been Steve. Warren Moon. You don't know that one. Go ahead. That, that was, was it. Easy. That was the last Red one. You, you went four for five. That was an easy one, too. I should have got that one. Okay, o Ocho, we're gonna side, we're gonna try something new tonight. Okay. This week on Instagram, we started a new thing called Nightcap Tales, where we post where we post a prompt and y'all send in your best stories. The first week prompt was your worst and first worst first date. Mm. Here are the best answers. That I'm gonna read and Ocho will react to. Uh, took a lady for dinner. She started telling me how she tried to poison her ex with rat poison and cookies. Mm. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. You was next. Hold on. He went. He took it. Took who to dinner? He said he ex? took a lady to dinner on a first lady. date. She started telling him how she how she tried to poison her ex. With rat poison and cookies. Well, that's not even a conversation for a first date when you're supposed to be getting to know each other anyway. So how does she even disclose this information on the first date? She would let him know that she he was getting into something real he didn't want to be in. You say be honest. Or, you yeah. said be honest on the yeah, first date. I like date. that. Yeah, be said. honest with me. Be honest with me. I that's that 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 can that can be, you know what? Not that can be a little edgy. I wonder, did he leave her after that? You think he did? Damn sure wouldn't have been a second date. You you that don't that don't excite you though? A Hell woman nah. trying to a woman trying to kill you? Hell no. Nah. Guess what? No. Just don't eat her food. She, she didn't she didn't succeed the first one. She might be one for two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that don't that don't excite you a little bit though? Hell no. Nah. Like a like a a woman like a little edgy, like, oh, I tried to kill my ex. That don't like like put you on edge. Well, like, I mean, oh, I've been I've been in some oh, situations shit. though, Joe. And yeah. I ain't trying to go back there. Okay, I see. You already said about. I don't used up by about six of my yeah. lives. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. But check this out, Ocho. Mm -hmm. On my first date after a nine year relationship, a woman asked me out, demanded mm -hmm. that I pay, and took food Whoa. home. The Whoa, demanded. On my first date after a relationship of nine years, a woman asked me out, mm -hmm. demanded that I pay, and took and took food home. The next week, I found her OnlyFans link and realized I was a pawn. Mm. Now I can't trust any can't trust any woman. It's been three years since. 
I mean, I wouldn't say I can't trust any women. You know, if someone asks you out on a date, I would, I would. No, she got to pay. If she asks you out, she got to pay. Yeah, she got to pay. I mean, and then if you want, if you want, you know, you can, you know, take, maybe put your wallet up. You know, I got this one, even though it is the first date. But I, it's like, I wouldn't say you shouldn't allow one woman to ruin it for the rest of them. That, not one, but the, you also, and I say it all the time, understand the people that you're dating. Understand where you're finding them from. Do your homework before you try to take them out. You know what comes with the territory. Read the fine print. Read the fine print. It's simple. Check this out, it's easy. Yeah. A guy took me for pizza during his lunch break. It was the place where you buy pizza by the slice. I okay. ordered two slices. Okay. He ordered two slices. We ate the pizza and the bill came and he pulled out an envelope with change. He pours the change all across the counter. Uh -huh. Not not one quarter. All pennies, nickels, mm. and dimes. I was okay. so embarrassed. We're grown. Late 20s, if not early 30s. Last date and call, needless to say. Oh, that's not nice. Did he did did it get paid? Is all that matters. Did it get paid? It doesn't matter how he paid it. It got paid. Mm -hmm. And that might have been a test from him. Well, it might have been a test from him. Huh? Might I mean, have been. Some, some, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get just enough for two pieces. And I'm going to make sure I have just enough to pay for it. But I'm going to have it in change. And I just want to see what she's going to do. Hell, Damn. depending on who it is. Shit, you know what, baby? Put that change up. I got this one. Hmm? Shit, and she done left. He could have been some goddamn CEO of some damn Fortune 5 company or something. Nah, CEO don't carry cash. They uh, carry yeah. number plastic. I, I, I know. I'm Listen, that's why I said, make, you, you never you know. Have it, 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 that might have been a test, It might have been a little test. Yeah, you, you never know. Check this out, Ocho. My first date, when I was 17, I went to a restaurant with this guy, and his mother showed up, snatched him from the table, and beat him because he stole money from her purse to pay for dinner. I hey, felt horrible. And listen. when I saw him the next day, I had to tell him it wasn't where we ate that was important. It was the conversation and the connection we would have that that would truly been important. So when he got off punishment, he tried again, but this time it was at Burger King. I love it. I love it. Now, I think Mama, that couple right there, up. I think, I think they should, that is a great story to tell when you walk down that, down that, that altar and you get up to give that speech on how y'all met and telling that story. Do you remember what happened? The story of my mama coming to whoop my aunt because I wanted to take you out so bad I had to take money out of her purse. I was willing to risk my life just to take you out. Now we get married. That's a great story. That's I a feel good on. story. To I me. say, mama, not now. Come on, mama, do this with home. <laughs> not. Come on, mama, you can't. Mama, you can't beat me in public. I'd have took yeah. off running. Hey, listen. That might have been her last, too. <laughs> that might have been her last. You don't know what that was. That could have been bill money. That could have been the phone, the phone, phone, phone money. Ocho, you can't. Ocho is 17. I ain't going to get no beating in public now. You beat me when I get home, I'm going home. I ain't going to let mom know. Nope. Well, no, you, you, if, if mom Duke showed up to the restaurant, you already know she bought that action. Hey, when she showed up, I already know what she showed up for. <laughs> So you happy to get me? Hell, I was running. I was running when I was ten or eleven. You, you think like, I'm gonna take off at seventeen? Wait, you gonna you can't leave your date, Unc? You can't leave? The hell I can't. <laughs> now, nah, see, now if you leave, now you ain't getting no second date. That's you okay. Ain't no second date. I ain't gonna get no. I ain't gonna get no first ass whipping either. <laughs> <laughs> so which you want? Which? <laughs> Listen, check that, this out, that, that that's a feel good story though. Story number five. I dated a porn star briefly. She didn't tell me who she was on the first date. Okay. She wanted to make sure that the first date was someplace dark mm. and secluded. Mm. We went to a movie in the middle of the day. We left the movie theater and decided to grab some food. Mm. At the restaurant, the waiter walked up to us and said, hey, oh, snap, love your work. This created a domino effect. Mm. Suddenly, people in the restaurant started getting up, come speak to her. I said, you're pretty popular for a new writer. That, that's what she says told me her real profession. Mm. She said she didn't want me to judge. Uh, she didn't want me to judge. Uh, I didn't really care. <laughs> I didn't really care. No, I didn't really. But the date took a turn for the worse when two guys walked up and pulled her out their checkbooks and offered her 10000 to do a scene with her together with five of their other male friends. And she literally gave them the email address. 
She hey. about that action. Yeah, she is. I mean, listen again. You can't lie. That's why. That's why you don't. You don't lie. You don't lie. So you, you didn't. You didn't have to waste young fellas' time. Let them know what you do ahead of time. You don't have to lie and say you're a writer. You know, listen, honey. If we're going on a date, I want to tell you my profession ahead of time because this this is A, B, and C that might happen when we're out in public. People are going to recognize me, and I want to make sure you're comfortable. And it's not surprising that I do porn. It, it's okay. Just be honest. Be straight up. Just like John Morrow with Saquon Barkley. Just tell the truth from jump and save both of you the hassle in time. Because mm, mm, that mm, mm. whatever what you just wasted, you can't get that time back. You can't get it back. You got people walking up offering you ten thousand for oh. scenes and shit. Come on now. <laughs> I wonder. Mm, I, I wonder mm. who she is. I wonder what her name is. Yeah, what an email. Put an email yeah. in there. Yeah, <laughs> ten thousand for a scene. Man, if she hey man, she taking self you know. Yeah, that's, she that's, doing that's, that. That thing probably look like roast beef down there. I'm good on you. I don't want none of it. Yeah, you, you never know. Well, you ain't never date no porn star, huh? I don't ain't, know. I mean, yeah, ain't ain't nothing wrong maybe. with that. Listen, ain't nothing wrong. It just listen. It just it just so happened <laughs> hey, they do. They little do they know they dated one. <laughs> <laughs> why you why you sleeping, old Joe? <laughs> listen, yeah, I ain't gonna I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. But ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with porn stars. I just think there are very, 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 very many men in the world that, that don't have the I don't want to use the word backbone, because that, that's not the right word. To actually date one publicly because they 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 feel ashamed of the nature of the business that they're in yeah. because so many other men have access or have had access. But anyone yeah. that you date, anyone that you've dated. Well, you say you like a little season. Oh yeah, I like it. I love it a little season. It's a little paprika, a little. That thing real parsley. tenderized, boy. That thing tenderized. That thing. That's fine. That's, fine. that's fine. Hey, listen. That thing been sitting in Worcestershire for about three years. That's fine. So that thing tender. That thing falling that's off that, the bone. I'm, I, I like it. Right <laughs> Literally. Off the bone. That's how I like it. That's how. That's fine. That's fine. The one thing about it, I get that bitch real posted, huh? I got, <laughs> hey. needle, I got a needle and thread. I sew that bitch right on up now. Going to get to that rejuvenation clinic. Going to get so hey, fix that who all but doc. Hey, that no uh, a rear in a little off. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of line, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey. It wobbling all over the place. Yeah. And listen, hey, porn stars, I love them, man. I mean, that's that's what they choose to do. That's the profession. They, they, it's, it's, they, they make good money. It's a man, billion man, dollars. Ocho, we got to stop, Ocho. Come man, people going to be upset enough, man. You know, we, we, we ain't say nothing bad. We be make, because we be making a joke out of everything, Ocho. I'm going to stop. I ain't doing that no more. I'm fine. I no, I ain't not, we ain't say we ain't say I, nothing bad. We we Ocho, have paying respect for those in the in the in the sex work industry. Yeah. Hey, I ain't been, hey, I ain't gonna joke no more. I ain't gonna joke no less either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good one though, man. Goddamn. Listen, hey, po po point, listen, the funny thing about porn makes the world go round, man. Porn stars and those that are in that profession make the world go round. Do you understand that is a billion dollar industry? I think mm. they make just as much as the goddamn Dallas Cowboys. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know, chat. They they might do. Mm -hmm. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with Ocho. I, I, I'm here to tell you. Ocho, it's time for our last segment of the night, and it's called a Q and A. Oh, yeah. Nocturnal Ronin donated a hundred bucks. Ocho, this is what he said. He said, "Love the show. I'm from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Currently over here contracting in Saudi. I uh, I usually have y'all on in the wee hours of the morning when I'm at work. Just ordered two bottles for my pops. Shout out to my parents, Curly Jr. and Deborah. Go Navy, go Steelers. Guy, hey, I appreciate that, man. I really appreciate the support. Your dad's gonna love him. Do me a favor, jump back in the chat when he'll get when they arrive and he samples them. Let me know what he thinks. So Curly Jr. and Deborah, your <laughs> boy all the way in Saudi, is thinking about you guys. Want to give you guys a shout out and let me know what you think about the alcohol. So I appreciate that. Yes, wow. sir. Uh break room. Um, we ordered your shade and can't wait to review it on our channel. Ocho, thanks for representing. Crib, can we get a shout out, Ocho? Break room, Ocho. Put the controller down and come watch some videos with your 305 boy. Shoot, Ocho, what they do, boy? Crew. Shout out to the break room. 
I'm gonna come. I'm gonna check y'all boys out. I got you. Just let me know where to come. Let me know where to come. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. Derek Jr. asked, "Would you rather be trapped in an NBA arena with four bears for an hour or ten alligators for two hours?" Alligator, twenty alligators for two hours. Yeah, and you say, so you with said four it. bears for an hour in an arena, you ain't do you gonna make it. A, a bear yeah. cannot run you at Usain Bolt at his fastest. Yeah. A bear cannot run him. Yep. So what your chances are? You know they can climb too, cause you can't run up them steps. They ain't mm -hmm. got no like a uh, uh, high school bleachers. Them individual seats, man, yep. they gonna be all over you. Nah, give Quick. me the Gators. Quick in a hurry, give me the Gators. Give me the Gators. Uh, Ace asked, "Yo, guys, if you had one movie role that you could play in any and play from any movie, mm. that would that, what would you be in and why?" Also, Unc, last time you were in Vidalia, Georgia. Ace, to answer your last question first, I can't remember the last time I was in Vidalia, Georgia. Mm. Uh, probably 35, Dang. 40 years. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really go to that side of town. Mm -hmm. Farther as I go is like a, a Reesville, and occasionally we played Toon Central, been the Lions, but didn't really go that far. Been through Vidalia, cutting over, going through Soperton and stuff mm -hmm. like that, Oak City, stuff like that, Johnson County, but never – to Vidalia. So that was oh. like, yeah, high school, way back, way back, way back. Hell, I'm going on. Hell, when did I graduate? I graduated in 86. So mm. yeah, probably about 40 years. Oh, I got it. I got the perfect one for you too, Um, Check this out, Ocho. Oh, Wait, hold no, on. You, said, we didn't okay, answer what the second movie? question. Yeah, I answered the second question. Okay, the first question. If the, you can the, play the, one role, one movie role. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Go ahead. What you got? Movie roles. We're going to take Tyrese out of Baby Boy and we insert me. Okay. Or we take Ty Tyrese out of Transformers, or we take Tyrese out of Fast and Furious, and we insert me. Man, you trying to get all the roles? Damn. I'm just saying. He's, I mean, I, I mean, I can. It's, it's, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, what, what about you? Damn. I want to be the Hulk. The Hulk? Mm -hmm. man, you can't be the Hulk, man. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said that like a little kid. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> that was, <laughs> yeah, that's hey, what that I want to do. Hey, that was funny. Rock New, my brother Shannon, too old to call you uh, nephew. I absolutely love Nightcap. Haven't missed one episode since I started watching. Do each of you or do do you each realize the value each of you hold in our lives, mm. your in your viewers' lives? Thank you. Rock new. Ocho can go. Bro, I really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Um, we put this together mm. with you in mind, with the with the listening audience, the viewing <laughs> audience in mind. Never in our wildest imagination did we think it would catch fire so soon. Mm. Um, we aim to try to be better, eat, get better each and every show. And as we fill each other out, we've got, I, I feel, and I, Ocho can talk to speak for himself, mm -hmm. that I feel that each show we have gotten better and better. Mm -hmm. um, we're not redundant. We try to keep you educated. Mm -hmm. We try to keep you entertained. Mm -hmm. uh, and we try to keep you updated. So yeah. uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for tuning in. And uh, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you so much, Rock New. Ocho. Yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate you supporting. Obviously, um, I'm one that loves to talk. I, I talk a lot. Sometimes I make sense, and sometimes I don't. Um, I've, I've, I've loved the 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 opportunity, you know, to uh to share some of the wisdom, some of my life experiences, the good and the bad. I've, I've loved being in a vulnerable state. I love talking sports. I love telling the stories of my past. I have so many more to share, and uh. I like being in this space because it allows me to talk about some of the things I'm that's going on in my life and and let all of y'all in the chat know how relatable we are, regardless to who I am or regardless to whatever way you may view me. We go through the same shit, the same problems, you know, and um, I, I like it. I like it. And I think we're doing so well as as a duo because we are so relatable. You know, we are so accessible in a sense. I, well, me, for that matter, more more than Unk. But and I'm enjoying it, and we got a long way to go.
We got a, we got a long way. It's going to be a beautiful journey, and this is just yep. the beginning. Rodney Dink is my homeboy. Rock, Unc, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Rock. I'm on that Laportier and a cigar. Ocho, I got a few of your cigars. That's my homeboy from the crib, Rodney Dink, as we call him Rock. His dad was, uh, like I said, he was my, his dad was my basketball coach. Mm. Uh, hell, he might have been. No, nah, he wasn't my football coach. Uh, John Dorsey, what you call him, was my, um, and uh, L.D. Bacon was my football coach. But Dink, uh, his dad, uh, Tony, was uh was my basketball coach. So Dink, I appreciate the support, bro. I really, really appreciate that. And when you yes, get sir. back to the crib, tell everybody I said hello. Yes, sir. Laney Ray said the chat was talking about the things they name like cars, body parts. Uh, do either you have a name for anything like yours or someone else's? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, I got you know, I call it Rollo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey. Yeah, she named, she named, she named that boy for me. Yeah, oh, we, Rollo. Hey, hold on, we, we, we call him Russell. Russell, <laughs> Ru, hey, Ru, Ru, Russell, Russell the love muscle. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 If I was love, love, you know all. Uh, what time, what time, you know, call it easy bake. Because I think it was an oven. You know what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, don't you? That was what I did. You know what it was. But I think, oh, boy. That thing heat up meat hey, quick. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good one. Easy bake. I like that. 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 Hey, thanks, Lady Ray, for staying up again. Raina Jane said, Uncle Ocho, uh, uh, the chat was discussing their favorite 80s band pre-show. Name your favorite 80s band or singer. Oh, Cameo. Oh, yeah. I love Cameo. Cameo. Ronald Black. Soon as soon as she said I went straight to Cameo. Stop playing. Uh damn. Man, see, I came hey, up in the 70s, it's, 80s it's with so, the big the it's, bands. It's the so bands many. were crazy, Ocho. Crazy. You, know, you had Earth, Wind, and Fire. Fire. You had Lakeside. You had uh, Ohio players. Players. You had the Shy You had the yeah, You had the oh, Dillard, You had the Barcades. You had Slave. You had Heat Wave. You had mm. the Commodores. Doors. Ooh, fans. So I, you know, Those. George Glitton and the P Funk All Stars Parliament. Oh, the the music back then. If I had, I, I'd probably say one would be Earth, Wind, and Fire. Two would mm. be the Ohio players. Mm. Oh, what a boy was crazy. The Ohio player song was unique because there was normally like one word mm -hmm. firecracker, yeah. skin tight, mm -hmm. roller coaster, skin tight, fire. Skin tight. When Ohio play. I've seen Ohio, I've seen the Earth, Wind, and Fire perform like probably like three or four times. They get hey, they get it. Verdine, uh, 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 Philip Bailey. What them, what them some day, but them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, know, I'm sure. Back. I'm showing sure uh, my age, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Coach Brooks, uh, thousand seven Ocho. Thanks for showing love to my son today at the fair by taking a picture. It means a lot. Yeah. Told yeah. you, I love the show. What are you both? What, what you both are doing? Thank you, yes, Coach. Sir. I appreciate that. You know, Ocho. Ocho is a guy, man. Uh, Ocho is he's a man of the people. Mm. Uh, he balances us out. Um, I don't get out nearly as much. <laughs> Normally, I'm from point A to point B. Uh, <laughs> so I, I really, I'm really not out like Ocho is. But bro, hey. I really appreciate it. it. Means a lot that you guys support us in the way, in the manner, in the fashion in which you show up for us every single time that we have a show. And we're going to take this show on the road here in a couple of months. And uh, oh, we look to, look where we going? You guys. Oh, Magic City. We doing a show from Magic City. <sighs> <laughs> Stephanie Warfield said, Ocho, uh, you ever seen Trinity Rodman or Washington Spirit play Shannon? If you had to choose between live baseball or a soccer game, which one did you choose? Soccer. soccer. What kind of question? Soccer. They say they say them soccer games be going crazy. 
But, Unc, we got, man, listen, I got to get you out there, man, to Europe, man, to watch a game, man. I'm telling no, I'm you. More like, I'm more like talking about, uh, like, at, I think Atlanta. What's Atlanta? Atlanta United? Atlanta United. Uh, yeah. I heard them things be going crazy. My ba uh, my daughter said she go, she gone a couple of times. I'm talking about, Daddy, yes. you got to go. Then she talking about, nah, Daddy, you can't go. You They, listen, they be going. They be mobbed you. The atmosphere is nice. But I'm talking about, I, I got to get you to Europe. I, I got to get you to Europe. And when I, I'm thinking for your, your first experience, you need to go to, I mean, one where, because you're not a soccer fan, like a Liverpool game. You in the stands at Liverpool. Just just picture this. The team walking out and the fans singing, you'll never walk alone. Like I've I've been in that I've I've been in that atmosphere and that experience, and it it puts to shame our biggest sporting event. Just a regular game. Just a regular game. And you'll leave, you'll leave Anfield with a different perspective on the game of soccer. I guarantee you. If I can just get you to one game, it don't have to be there. But I'm I'm just saying for the experience at Liverpool or at Anfield, that would be a good one for you to start. Trust me. J Mac, what's up, Unc and Ocho? Love the show. I couldn't get my birthday shout out last month, but Ocho, this question is for you. What three things in life are always certain? One hint, you said it. <laughs> life. <laughs> well, that thing went down the wrong pipe. Well, pause. Life, death is life, death, and tap. Wait, damn, I forgot my own quote. It's three things in life that's certain life, death. No, throw the damn. ball on me on third and seven. Life, it's death, completion, taxes. Hey, I forgot my own quote, man. Okay. You remember how it go? Nah, it's your quote. How the hell I'm gonna remember your quote? Yes. Oh, was it death taxes and 85 will always be open? Well, I don't know where I got life from. I don't know. Death taxes and 85 will always be open. It's been so long since I had to say it, I couldn't even remember it. Damn. My bad. Kimber Norwood Jr., Unc, my question is, uh, is who's better, Prime Kyrie or Derrick Rose? And Derrick Rose was something. But here's the thing. Derrick Rose was only prime for like two years. Before he got hurt? Yes. Hey, boy. You got a reason. He won the MVP in like, what, 21? He was the youngest MVP ever. Hey, boy, he was an animal, boy. Yes. Well, he was bouncy, boy. God yes. damn, he was bouncy. He was that athletic. He was that He was that Russell Westbrook, Ja Morant before Ja, ja and yeah. Russ. Yeah. Guy that could play above the rim. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, he's not the passer that Russ is. Russ. But man, you talk about bounce. I'm talking about crazy bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he nice with it. He real nice with it. I remember that. I'm I'm I'm, I'm mad if if he didn't have his injuries. Yeah, but that's the thing. His peak, his prime was only like two years because I think he won the MVP like his second year, didn't he? His second or third year, because he's the youngest. He was Dang. 21. The fourth year. Yeah, but he was 21, right? He won it in he won it in 20 he won it in 2011. He came out in 2008. Mm. So he's 23. Wow. Okay. Who is better? Man, that's a hard because I didn't get to see D Rose for an extended period of time. I'll take Kyrie. I can't I can't even indulge in that conversation because them boys. Yeah, they, I think he, he won his third year because he came out in 2008. Because remember, that was LeBron. He won it the first year LeBron was in uh in 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 Houston. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, uh my, okay, answer that one. Guys, thank you. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I am your oh. favorite. Uh, what you got? You we leaving? Bro? We leaving. You got to work tomorrow? 
Yep. Okay, I'm 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 watching. I'm watching. I'm watching tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I got to get that work on. Got to get my work on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Please. y'all, yeah, y'all gonna bring me on? Y'all gonna bring me in football season so I could I could come with y'all on Monday and Tuesday? Look, I just hey, I just work there, Ocho. Yeah, I do work there. I just, or just get you got your foot in the door now, so just ask on um, ask because just imagine the dynamic trio of, of us. We could be the big three. <laughs> we we hey, we'd be the big three. Me, you, Stephen A, and that's what that's what um. That's what um Kendrick Lamar was talking about, the big three. He was talking about us. Nah, Kendrick Lamar puts up on him. K Doc puts up on him. I'm saying he he said the big three. I don't know what caused that, Ocho. I know we ain't talked about that. I don't know. I thought everything we, was good. We, we, if we could we could bring it back, we could bring it back on Sunday. We're talking and talk about, about it on Thursday. We're talking about it on Thursday. Right. We're right. talking about it on Thursday. Yeah. Okay, bet. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We gotta grow. We got we need 30,000 by the eighth to be at 1.2 million. So, guys, we gotta get on the ball. So uh, uh, help us out. Hook us up. Hook us up real quick. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly, greatly appreciate if you subscribe through the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shay by Laportier. We have pinned the link at the top of the chat. We're only taking pre-orders, but with the shipment that we got in, we should be able to fulfill all orders. So thank you. Thank you again. Thank you for joining us. For, uh, thank you for joining us for Nightcap. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got my jersey. We've got my jersey. Who we got? You can see it? Baggio. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's that boy. That's that boy. Baggio. All so right. Thank you. He's Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, the route runner extraordinaire from the Cincinnati Bengals. And bodybuilder. And bodybuilder. Pro, and bodybuilder. Uh, Skeleton. But you know him, you love him, fan favorite, Chad Ochocinco Johnson, and we will see you on Thursday night. Chad and I, Gil and I will see you on Wednesday night. Wow.